Zebra Herd, and welcome back to Kirby Star Allies. And today we're going to be doing yet another mini game mode. This one is Guest Star Star Allies Go. A lot of you said that this one deserves its own episode, and I think I agree. I haven't really poked around with it too much. We did take a tiny look at the tutorial of it in the last episode. But as you can see, friends, take the lead. You can do it even without Kirby. Go for a time attack score in an adventure with only friends. Power up parts have fallen throughout the land. Collect them to raise attack, health, and speed. Gain new friends with friend hearts. Up to four players can hop in with quick join. Adventure awaits. So yeah, this seems to be it's like its own mini little uh, story mode. And I can see on the bottom here there are some locked characters. I can only imagine they're King DDD. Uh, what, what, uh, Brandana lot of the, I was like, what is it called? And then Meta Knight. So I gotta figure out a combo that we might wanna do. I think that, I wanna do sword or, no, okay, I guess I'm doing cutter. No, I wanted to do sword. <laughs> All right, guest star Blade Knight, staying sharp. Hopefully we can do this with the other characters soon enough. I don't know what we need to do to unlock them. We'll just stay, start with the uh, the Blade Knight and see how things go. So we don't get to play as Kirby in this, but that's fine, because we just like we have characters that have their own abilities. It's really cool. And this seems to be the first level of the game. Whoa, okay, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, wow, this does control, I think, a little bit different, but I'm not sure. But this is cool, because this means if we do unlock, you know, King DDD and Bandana Waddle we can actually play as them, which will be really exciting. Ooh, a Golden Heart. I'll take that. So it looks like, yeah, there are lives and there are the Golden Hearts that seem to probably give you more one-ups. Let's go ahead and throw something at that dude if I can. Hold on, here, my friend. So we can combo abilities if we had any abilities to combo at the moment. I don't think we do that. Like if I were to do this, yeah, nothing happens. But we did get a speed level one for that. Interesting, so I guess we do move around a little bit faster now, which is really cool. Can I do, yeah, I can do the little puffer jump. And hey, there was a puzzle piece, so that'll be helpful. But a lot of you said this game mode was really, really cool, so I'm glad to be checking it out. Uh, let's go ahead and beat up this dude. Nice. Oh, so I'll be trying to take care of as many enemies as I possibly can, because I just think that'll be beneficial. Maybe some of them will start dropping some of these little things right here. Uh, but I'm not really sure, do enemies drop that kind of stuff? I always forget, I think sometimes they do, just rarely. All right, this will be fun, I'm liking this already. It's sort of like the same game, but a little different. I don't know if we'll be playing through every single level in the game, because this might not be all in one episode. But uh, I don't know if this is a little thing, if it takes a little while, but I'll try to do it all in one episode. Uh, so Burning Leo, do your Burning Leo thing. You would give me the Flame Sword, the Sizzle Sword, really. Uh, who else wants stuff? You guys can uh, get the, so we've seen these before, of course, this is the sizzle cutter, and then it should be the sizzle bomb. So let's go ahead and get that. I, I figured that, you know, fire-related abilities are better than nothing. It does give us an attack up, as you can see in the bottom right, so that's worth doing. And we can get rid of this stuff. You can see, like, it burns away that guy's costume really quick. Uh, oh, oh, that was cool. <laughs> so what is this here? I mean, I don't know if I, like, have as much of a pressure to find secrets, but, Whenever I do, I should check it out because it might give us extra little uh, one-ups and stuff. Ooh, there is an upgrade in there. So it seems like instead of you know major secrets we would find normally in these levels, we have ourselves upgrades for our characters. So I'll gladly take that. That'll be our attack level one. So I'll be hitting a little harder. Boom, get out of here, dude. So we should hopefully, in theory, be able to level things up so we can just like destroy bosses and stuff, which sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, what's going on in this one? Yeah, this is so far just a copy of level one, which is fine. It's just a little confusing. I'm still not sure if we'll be playing through every single level. Uh, we could do that. This is gonna explode a couple things for sure. Indeed it does. We'll get another puzzle piece for that one. And there are different color hearts as well. Just like, they're basically the same thing as the stars, just not stars. And then we will break this one. I just love being able to jump around. And you still get to attack quite easily while you're in the air too, because it's not like Kirby where he has to release the puff of air and then he can attack. Okay, so we got a level two now for the uh, attack, and that's pretty nice. And what do we got? We got a mini boss. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I sort of charged up at the wrong time there. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh, he got destroyed real quick. There he goes, he's out of here. So should we get him? So a lot of you actually let me know why he's not a mini boss. Um, so like why like Vidria, the uh, painting lady, is a mini boss but also can be your friend is because there aren't really any other NPCs that give you the painting ability. But Chili already gives you the frozen ability so there's no reason to make uh, the mini boss give it to you. Oh and we got health of love, cool. Oh and everybody gets like a little bit of a health restore too. That's helpful because if we lose these friends it won't be so good. 
Okay, so this is where Chili comes in handy. Thank you, Chili. Wait, one more. There, okay, I can break it. <laughs> and then here, I think there's a little door. I guess instead they give us this, cool. But I, I do understand that. I mean, it still bums me out that we can't have a, whatever his name was, a snow mini boss as a friend, just because he's cool, it would be a lot of fun. But I understand what, what people were saying. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one. I feel like we even jump up faster than Kirby does. So it seems like there are some advantages to not playing our favorite little pink puffball. Okay, ooh, this is gonna be a lot of level up. So hopefully if we do get taken down a lot, it won't be that big of a deal, we'll be able to handle it. And more than anything, I'm getting more puzzle pieces, so that'll be very, very helpful for me getting uh, all the pictures completed, because that's a big goal I have. Oh wait, 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 let me uh, have you become our friends, because that's another thing, is that, oh, I can't. Uh, whoa. Uh, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Can I just pick this thing up and, oh, uh, not really. So I just can't get you. Maybe I can speed you up. Ah, oh, so we can't do little friend dances with that. I gotta keep that in mind. That's sort of a shame. I mean, unless I'm doing something wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Of course, we don't, you know, we aren't Kirby. We can't take those abilities. And what will this button do? It'll just give us free stuff. Whoa, we get a friend scepter. Okay, ready? Any of them. We get Bandana Waddle Dee, nice. I really wanna play as Bandana Waddle Dee. That'd be a lot of fun. Mostly just because, uh, what's it called? Yeah, he, he, nobody else, like there's no javelin ability in this game normally. I'm pretty sure it performs exactly how the staff does, but it's still a cool idea. I mean, I could try to hop on Bandana while with you right now, just like that, and then uh, if I pause the game, I should be able to see his controls. Scoured thrust, waddle triple throw, dash, hold B, release. Okay. Oh, that's cool, so he does have his own set of abilities, because usually, Oh wow, that, yeah, that's totally original. That's a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys would wanna see that, but maybe we could play through this game mode multiple times with different characters. Like maybe I could do it with Bandana Waddle Dee, do another playthrough with King Dee Dee, because it doesn't seem like you get to choose all four of your friends. You only get to choose the first one you start as. So maybe we could do that. Especially as new characters release later this month, I think it's only in the next day or two that there are new characters that are supposed to be coming out, um, different Kirby friends that you, know, you can, uh, have as allies. Would you guys like to see me play through this game mode or maybe the other game mode with those, you know, people? That might be different and fun. I don't know how long that would last us, but I feel like it'd be enjoyable. Let's go ahead and get that. We can jump around over here. Whee! <laughs> I love it so much I don't want to ever stop playing Bandana Waddle Day because it's just really enjoyable. Okay, so let's get over here and I see you. Gonna get you out of here. And let's go through the door. Oh, I hope I get teamed up with Bandana Waddle Day, but I'm not sure. I'll keep using the sword for now though, because it's great. And uh, it'll, you know, multiply our attacking power against bosses and stuff if we don't have to worry about me being on top of Bandana Wall because it does make my character not do anything. Okay then, so they should be able to up that and give us a lo little extra defense or health. Oh yeah, it does just make our uh, health bar a little larger, which is great. So you can sort of tell what our max health is gonna look like. Okay, there's another puzzle piece. I'm really not too worried about things now that we have so many lives. Like, it might take us a little while, I don't know. This does sort of feel like, I mean, we're still in the same level, right? Did we ever finish that one level? I don't know, my memory is just like, out the window, I've been talking about stuff. Well, yeah, it just sort of like, combos it all into one really long level, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, okay, I don't know if we should've gotten a lasso dude there or not. Let's try to dodge everything that's gonna be coming our way, because I know a big ball of bandana waddledies is coming soon. I don't think we can damage it at all, so we just have to keep moving. Uh, hmm. Oh boy, yeah, it's chasing us. I totally forgot about this stuff. I mean, it gets so caught up in the moment in these kind of games. It's easy, you know, forget the moment afterwards as you move on to another moment. Ah, oh, man, this game has been great. I do wanna say thank you guys so much for your support throughout the main story mode of the series and continued after that. I've been really, really happy with uh, how much you guys have been enjoying this. Definitely I'll look into playing more Kirby games soon. And also other awesome Nintendo platformers coming up. Of course, uh, there's a new Yoshi game I think later this year. And in May we have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I'll be playing that because I've never played it before, so I'm super excited. A lot of our teammates here are getting beat up and I don't like it. I wish it would give us a little more health. Uh, I don't think we need Flaming Guy right now. If anything, I would like to try this, the, the Frozen Sword. That way we have a Flaming ability, we have a Frozen ability. If I need to get rid of Chili, I can. And then a uh, Javelin dude can do this. He's like, I can do it, I'm Javelin, not Javelin guy, uh, Cutter guy, Sir Cable, flaming version. So we'll launch up here, Wee! 
And hopefully we'll get some food for this. I think that we'll get probably an extra upgrade. Yep, we got a speed upgrade. So we're probably, yeah, we're running around real quick now. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. I wanna see what it's like when you have like max speed and we're just charging through everything. That's gonna be fun. Oh, hey, look at this. We got one of these. Okay, so this is gonna be probably the uh, friendship circle. Man, this is cool. It's, oh no, it's, it's the friendship train. That's really exciting because they only gave us this like once or twice in the main story mode. I am definitely down for more friend train action. Oh, this is so cool. Whee. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled, be able to jump when we need to jump, fly up things, be able to get uh, some more upgrades, get tons of friend hearts, or whatever they may be. Go down here and go down here and we're going up the wall. You ready for this? Oh boy, big jump, yeah, we got it. Ha, <laughs> okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, we're going up here. I just love how we can just run up walls. It makes so little sense, but that's what's so great about it. Okay, so we need to destroy all of these little butterflies, pop down here, down with those two. Wait, what do I do here? Is it a loop-de-loop? -loop? It's a loop-de-loop, -loop. all right, we got ourselves another life there. We're about to get another one in a moment. And more importantly, we got the puzzle piece. How many have we gotten so far? I'd imagine like, about 10? I don't know, I can't wait to see what our total will be. But yeah, this has been an interesting little adventure so far. I don't know how long it's supposed to last, but I'm having a blast with it, so. A giant waddle be on a giant pig. Whoa, okay, there we go, we did it. So we get two upgrades for that one, which is quite a lot. Uh, let's pick up all of that. We get ourselves a health upgrade, level three, and then level three attack. So we're level three all across the board right now. Super duper effective stuff. But yeah, I really hope that those extra DLC characters are playable in this mode. I'd have to imagine that they are. It would be sort of weird if they weren't. I love how I can just freeze everything so easy. Ooh, we're about to get that invincibility. We're out of here, especially since we have super speed. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Because I should be able to get farther than Kirby would have. Oh boy, we need to plop down there though. Oh, oh, we get speed upgrade even more. Great, I'm gonna skip out on that one golden heart. I think we'll be okay having 17 lives instead of 18. Okay, keep moving. Oh, Get that, Ah, oh. oh, Yeah, that didn't last as long as I was hoping. I'd hope we'd run into a mini boss, but I guess we had a lot of vertical things to do in this area more than uh, horizontal. So the extra running speed didn't help me too much. Uh, be careful of this guy. We should be able to get him, just like that. And let's go on through. Okie doke, so what do we got going on in here? But yeah, so far this has just sort of been the entirety of World 1, I think summed up in one long level. I don't think I need to, oh wait. Hmm. Uh, let's reset really quick. Ah, oh, it didn't work the way I was hoping. I was hoping I could like choose my character. Well, now we don't have the uh, fire, fire cutter, which is sort of a problem. But uh, for now, we could go ahead and give him, what did you, Bandana Waddle D? What did you do that for? I actually liked you around. Oh, you stinker. What was that about? All right, you know what? We're gonna get some different stuff here then. We're gonna get Parasol and we're gonna put that over the second Sir, Sir Kibble. We're gonna get Yo-Yo Dude, I think. We're gonna put him over, uh, I'd say Chili. There we go. Uh, better than nothing then. <laughs> I mean, can we get some water abilities here with, uh? well, you will, but I wanted you to give it to Yo-Yo Dude. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, well, I guess I got it. <laughs> Maybe he'll give it to other people now. Splash Sword looks really cool though, so I can't complain. Come on. No, that's not what I wanted. Chumbrella. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, the Chumbrella will help here though as we go against Wispy Woods. Some of you were letting me know that I should give Wispy Woods a heart. Um, Maybe after we defeat him. Look at Chumbrella go. This is keeping us nice and protected. I don't know if this ever ends, so I gotta be careful. Um. Oh my, oh my, oh! Oh, I couldn't quite hit him with my uh, my spin move there. Oh, we're on the other side of him now, so I'm not gonna be able to find out. Uh, I'm gonna hide over here for now. Look at Chumbrella go. Oh, he makes me so proud. Oh, wow, well, he beat him that way. <laughs> so, okay, so Wispy Woods is all beat up. I'm trying to give him a heart, it won't work. So I don't know why people would tell me to do that. Checkpoint, time 10 minutes, okay. You can start from here next time. Okay, cool. We'll keep moving, but I'm glad to know. Oh, now it's just like a whole different area. All right, yeah, I want to give me a let me give him a heart there. Actually, maybe should I should have uh, had him on our team. If we have Bandana Waddle, we should have the water powers just fine. 
All right, so we're in stage two, I guess. Weird. This is like one of the uh, extra stages in World One, where it was like it tell like it has all the signs that tell you where to go, and it has the retro music, which I love. So this should be pretty easy. Wow, we go so quick with this extra speed upgrade. We're level four now, so I think it wants me to go in the center. Yeah, it does. I remember. So if we do this correctly, we can get a couple of extra secrets as well, which will be good. I'll get rid of you. I already have the water sword, so ah, get out of here, ninja. So yeah, we're going down this time. Down and right. And we get a speed upgrade once more. Hopefully I'm able to get every single one of those. That would be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so what do we got now? Looks like a whole bunch of stuff all over the place. It looks like I can even still cut this stuff, which is good. What did that give me? I guess just one golden heart? It made a noise like it was something way better. Yeah, just, just one golden heart. Okay. And then up here is where I, I remember having a hard time with this secret. It has a key. Uh, let me also cut up everything on the way here if I can. I mean, hopefully the cutter guy can. Yep, there we go. Thank you, dude. And that gave me a puzzle piece. If I keep running over here, we get three red hearts. But also, is there anything up here? Man, we move so quick. It's so satisfying. Wow. All right, I don't have to worry about him. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're at max speed actually. So maximum seems to be level five. Gotta keep that in mind. Man, I wish it wasn't. <laughs> so I could keep enjoying this. Ooh. But it is so much fun just to run around like this. Okay, so what are we getting here? Oh, I love the song. Dun, 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 dun. All right, oh, oh, get rid of you. Climb down here. And, oh, oh, we need fire for this. Okay, that makes sense. Let's get back down over here. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Let us go ahead and toss this at you. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and put you over Yo-Yo Dude. I don't think he's been too helpful. And everybody, power up, boom, flame sword. Even though I really did enjoy. Oh, okay, he did it. Move it, move it, move it, move it quickly, quickly, quickly. Get out of my way. Oh boy. Luckily we've done these secrets before, so we sort of get it. <laughs> I like how they're, like, they all zap to me. And they're like, oh wait, we gotta go over there. All right, so we figured it out. Wasn't too big of a deal. And this should get us uh, some good secrets, I think. Wee! I hope. Oh, we're busting through. Busting through again. We got a whole bunch of hearts right here. So we're about to hit 20 lives, and we also get a little thing right there, and this will be a damage upgrade. So we're almost at our max damage, unless there are different maxes for different things, but I think they're all max level five. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going against uh, Waddle Dee here. Oh, I probably should have grabbed Spark Guy while I had the chance, huh? Hmm, or plasma dude. Well, if I go like this and I go back over, yep, you're right here. So, put you over Burning Leo, and uh, give me electric powers. Ooh, bam, the Zap Sword. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get that, and then also beat up Sir Kibble over here. Thank you. Wait, oh, I didn't. <laughs> I watch out for him. Even though he might be a fun teammate, well, this is cool though, because you can just like do it with any character you want, which is fun. Oh gosh, a parasol waddle, he fell out of there, that was weird. Hmm. Okay, so we're going against uh, just a waddle -dee. That's okay, I can handle it. And there's some, uh, I think their waddle -doos is the little, you know, electric ones, or whatever they're called. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I got really dizzy there. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. Wow, we defeated him real quick. All right, well, I don't want that ability if I can manage. I mean, I can't even jump onto it. Whatever character you choose, you have to stick with, which is really interesting. I'm not used to that in Kirby. You know, usually in Kirby, it's like, oh, you can always revert. You can always just change back to what you want to be. Here, you can't do that. You gotta be very specific with what you want. Oh, um, hold on. Before we go any farther, I need him. And we're gonna just go ahead and put him over uh, Parasol Waddle Dee. He's green. He looked like a leprechaun there for a moment. That was weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal with this. Hopefully uh, he can throw me around. Yep, yep, I'll hop on. Ooh, hit me. Oh, friend throw. We're gonna bounce all over the place and get some upgrades. This was well worth it then. Oh, let me get over there. They're spawning in everywhere. They're sort of getting in my way. And then here we have a health upgrade. So hopefully this will refill everybody's health to max. I really do appreciate that. Because I don't think we've lost any teammates so far, which is good. Okay, so uh, another spark plug, just in case we needed it and we can go on through. So yeah, we need two more uh, upgrades with our damage and our health and we'll be all maxed. 
And that'll be pretty good. So that actually happened quicker than I thought. So maybe this isn't too long. Uh, I'm gonna press that, gotta be careful for these dudes. But we got him, we got him. Break that, get a puzzle piece, we're good to go. So yeah, I can't wait to see how many puzzle pieces we've gotten for doing all this. Hopefully we get close to finishing another painting, but who knows. Let's charge up and let her rip. Oh my gosh, we're going crazy right now. Whoop. Oh, I love how we spin around like that. Electric sword, zap sword is really cool. And if we're full health, yeah, that's right, we also have an electric blast. That is cool as well. Here, let's uh, just stay far away and be able to hit him. I love that. <laughs> okay, uh, still more waddle -dees. They just They don't give up with these guys. Ow, that hurt me. That was silly. Oh boy, get him, get him, get him. The one last one, <laughs> Over, overdoing it a little bit there. But we made it, and whoa, what is this? Attack level max, speed, so I guess if we did miss one, we would've, uh, we would've been able to get it there. Okay, cool, so we have maxed out everything. Let's go fight King DDD. And is this where it ends, or is there more? I don't really know. So I'm not gonna do that, don't really need to. Uh, yeah, I think I have everything I want. So let's go ahead and do gross King DDD. Here he is, eating away. All right, are you angry, dude? You're angry. All right, his royal nemesis, King DDD. All right, we're going for it. Bah! And I think we'll be able to destroy this guy real quick. Oh gosh, so far so good, but at the same time, this is only like one of like three parts of his battle. Cause he goes super buff, and then you have to like go through multiple levels of him being super buff. I mean, right now he's actually going buff already? All right, sure. I didn't realize we didn't have to totally like down his health. I guess he does have one consistent health bar through the whole thing. All right, that should make it even easier then. I mean, maybe not the whole thing, but through that moment, yeah. Oh, he's mad, he's mad. I can't even hit him yet. I can hit him a little bit. No! Yeah, that's sort of the thing. There's not really too much you can do to make this boss fight go by quickly because uh, he just has all these animations that he does, like where he slams the floor and everything, but maybe he won't here. Come on, come on. Oh, he's so low. Oh, okay, so one more phase, we should be able to get him. I just have to get over there. Ooh, that got him, nice! We do so much damage, it's insane. Oh, I love it. So King DDD's down. Can I throw him a heart now? Oh, he almost did! Maybe he really could, that'd be awesome. All right, cleared, 1650. Is there more? Whoa, that's it, okay then. So we got 20 pieces throughout that entire gauntlet. Very, very cool. And we get one piece there and one piece there. Cool! So that was some good progress, for sure. I think that's the most puzzle pieces we've made in a uh, 23 minute time, apparently 16, but like this video's been 23 minutes. Well, that was only level one. You can start here next time. Here, hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, I guess that was level one, title screen. What else can we do then? If we go back to the title screen, I wanted to see continue best time, show off, show off on social media, I already am. Okay, so yeah, that was just, all that was level one. Um, so we can do level two, three, four, and five. Uh, okay, that might take me a little bit of time. We'll do some today, maybe some later. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, ready, go, I'm going all right. So this is level two. So yeah, I guess there really is sort of kind of a, uh, a level of this per world. It really is practically the whole game, just without Kirby. Very weird. All right, everybody, combo up. This one's definitely gonna be the friend wheel. And we're just gonna start rolling. Yeah, but I don't think we could change abilities midway through, like we have to keep with the sword ability. Hmm. Okay, see you there, Poppy bros. So I'll do what I can with this, but at the same time, it really shouldn't be too different, or different or difficult. It should just be a little time consuming. So I don't know, we'll have to see how much progress I make. Maybe I'll do the whole thing in today's episode. Maybe it'll be a multiple episode thing. Uh, you guys seem to have been really appreciating the episodes being longer, so I've been trying to respect that and try to make a good mix of everything. Oh boy, we got hearts everywhere. I love the friend one, the friend one is fun. The little friend ideas are great. I mean, they sort of remind me of like Yoshi's little abilities in like Yoshi's, uh, like Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Oh wow, we start over again when it comes to the levels, I didn't even notice that. So that makes sense why we maxed out so soon. Okay. I thought that, you know, we'd reach max level, that would mean we were getting to the end of the mini game. Not quite. This definitely has more depth to it than I was expecting. This is definitely the second level of World 2, I'm pretty sure. 
So it really does sort of bring you on a little tour of each world, which is fun. And we could go for the secrets or we could not. You know, whatever saves us time. I mean, of course it's worthwhile because we get the puzzle pieces and seeing how I have to inevitably do that anyways, we'll, we'll stick to getting them. But it's cool that they're not really mandatory. They can be definitely helpful because it does give you upgrades, but once again, not mandatory. I mean, they're, they're secrets. Of course they're not mandatory. Most of the time they're not. Whoa, can we get onto this tree? Because they were on the tree. Uh, I don't know. We can, but it's like only a tiny little piece of the tree, the very center stem. You can't see on the leaves. All right, we got a health level one for that. I will take it. Goodbye, Bandana Waldy. I'm leaving. Okay. But yeah, seeing how I've already technically played all these levels before, hopefully it won't be too bad. Ow. Oh, I know I needed you. I remember the secret. So, we need to go ahead and put you over probably Spark. And then if we move over like this, I'll get rid of this dude. Oh, that almost worked for a moment. Uh but he's not gonna let it continue because it's flowing water. And then we need you. We're just gonna go ahead and put you over, I think, fighter. We're not gonna need Knuckle Joe too much more. Oh no, this time it worked. Oh well, I guess maybe we could break this. Hmm, all right. Well, it doesn't matter now. You're a little too late, Bandana Wallaby. Not Bandana, the Parasol Wallaby. You know what I mean. All right, we got some more speed ups, which is great. Honestly, that's the one I value the most for right now as we get through these levels is speed ups because that way we can just run through the levels quicker. It's not as big of a hassle to replay through the entire game essentially. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. It's it's also sort of kind of like a new game plus, which is really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go like that into here and I'll tr probably try to find somebody to replace Bandana Waddle but it might be good to keep him for a little bit at the least. Let's go down here, don't squish me, thank you. Get rid of you. I mean, now with the new Kirby game coming out, I really hope, and I've said this so much in the past, I really hope that we do see Kirby sort of show up in other games. You know, like a good example is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We've had a lot of other characters pop up in those kind of games, like Link and Animal Crossing and Splatoon Inklings. Still don't see why Kirby hasn't been added to that mix. I feel like he's a perfect thing to add there, but apparently they disagree, because they haven't done it yet. But I'm hoping more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC gets announced. It'd be cool if they ever made like a, oh, that'd be so cool. I feel like in Super Mario Odyssey, they did like a uh, Star World Kingdom that was sort of like Kirby in aesthetic, but it was just Mario exploring. That'd be really cool. I feel like Mario and Kirby don't combo up as often as they could. It's usually just Mario and sort of Zelda, and sometimes Mario and Sonic. But like Mario and Kirby just sounds like it makes sense, you know? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Okay, so we're going up here. I am a little low on health. I gotta be careful of that. I mean, we do have 24 lives, but those lives could go away if I'm not careful. So, uh, would, yeah, will you be able to freeze these? Oh, do I have Frozen Sword now? I do. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll just let this do its thing then. And can we just freeze this water? We could. Awesome. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. Oh, you know what? Probably burning Leo unfrozen. That's probably what happened. Silly Leo. There's different ways to solve that, which is really, really cool. And uh, what do we got in here? Except for low health. They, they don't give you too much health around here. The buttons don't do anything except for give you upgrades, which I find funny. But they did give us a health upgrade, so we're all the way back up to the full. I don't know if the upgrades we get are random or if they're predetermined. Seeing how it does give us that one for everything by the end of it, like, oh, it gives you plus one for everything. So that's interesting for sure. I mean, they might just do that in preparation for if you uh, missed out on anything, you still can sort of bounce back a little bit. Like, we haven't found any damage upgrades but these secrets in this game really weren't too tough to find, so I think the ones that, you know, were actually difficult to find, I'll sort of be able to remember them and be like, oh yeah, that was that here, I'll be, I just need to do this, this, and that. Anyways, uh, oh, get rid of that. Oh, we're about to get the invincibility as soon as I press the button. That'd be great. Come on. Invincible! Okay, so nothing to grab here, except for the invincibility. Yeah, there really wasn't much to uh, take. Come on, move it, run. I think this is the one where we take on a mini boss, maybe. So if I can get there soon enough, I can just hit them with the invincibility. Yeah, right here, we go against Chef Kawasaki. All right, get him, get him, get him, beat him up. I'm invincible, I'm invincible, <laughs> yeah, that worked. And, oh, do I get him? I do, we're gonna put him over Burning Leo. See you, dude. I always get rid of Burning Leo, I'm so sorry. And then he can heal everybody up if they needed to be healed, which I do not. Okay, so. <laughs> This is great though, I'm having so much fun. 
everybody get some food. Oh, I accidentally skipped that. Not a big deal. It's a whole bunch of fruit anyways. I don't know, does he just go to the grocery store? Whoa, whoa, oh I did, I forgot about that. Thank you, because I totally forgot the check down there. I'm a dingus. Um, I was about to go through the door. I just find it funny, like does Chef Kawasaki just go to the, the, the grocery store, buy a bunch of fruit, and he goes, look what I made, guys, I made this. Like, come on, chef. You can't just buy food and say that you made it, because you didn't. You might have made the money that made, got you the food, but you didn't make the food. That was good old mother nature. Okay, so we're going up here. Yeah, most of this I'm pretty familiar with. This is actually the uh, the third level, which was a snow area. So yeah, definitely, I've gotten used to the groove that this gives, you know? We're definitely making better time than we did you know, in the original playthrough then, because it took me an hour to get through the first world, and now we're only 30 minutes into this episode, and we're making our way through world two. So hopefully it wouldn't take us too long to do this. Maybe like, a, like an hour in total to get everything done. So I think that we could do this all in one episode. You're welcome, monkey. Oh, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, did that get rid of the key? Then I'd be stuck here, and that would be good. But yeah, I like how uh, we don't really have the variety make our team too varietous, I guess, just because we know when there are gonna be secrets, and the game usually gives you the abilities you need, very, like, you need very obviously when there is a secret again. So like, I'm not really too worried about it. Anyways, we got the friendship bridge. The friend bridge. All right, so just chill out right here. This one's quite easy to solve. Whoop. Okay, but the other ones get a little more difficult. I'm gonna assume that doing these is probably gonna end up getting us uh, you know, puzzle pieces and more upgrades, that'd be good. I feel like we're not getting his upgrades as fast this time. We're probably gonna be getting one right here. We're not super far in the world too just yet. This is like only the third level. All right, and ba-boom, friend bridge. Uh, so we're gonna go, whoa, whoa, come on, hop on, buddy, hop on and then right here, and then go on through. So this should get us a good secret or two. I'd hope. Yep, there it is, there's that damage upgrade and a bunch of hearts to pick up. Good. So we'll slice through all these dudes. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt a lot. And then plop down here. Wait, what, was that the checkpoint? I hope I didn't miss anything then. I might have missed something. <laughs> you can start here next time. Okay, so there are, I guess, midway checkpoints, or at least, you know, one checkpoint per uh, world, because we got a checkpoint for level one as, as well, and that was about halfway through, I'd imagine. All right. Uh, oh, I'm tempted to grab flying, but only because I want to play as flying, you know? If I, if I can't play as it, then <laughs> it doesn't matter too much. Hmm. So we'll have to be careful. I don't think there's anything up there. Because I think that the uh, secrets that would be up there sort of move with the spinning circle like this. So like I can just go over here and grab it. All right, we made it, we made it. And we can go on through. But yeah, I'm not, it's not the end of the world if we miss a secret. It's just really beneficial for me to get them. So if it seems like they're too time consuming, I could skip them. But I do really want as many of these as we can get, so. Man, the ice sword is really cool as well. Just seeing the sort of trail of ice follow after you. Oh, we took care of two enemies in one there because I just left his ice cube there and took care of the other one. Okay. We probably could use Chef Kawasaki. I love how, because of how like lava-ish it is here, uh, Sir Kibble looks golden. Can you, uh, well, I was looking for uh, Chef Kawasaki. Uh, well, I got everything but. Can I get a frozen sword again? No, 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 nobody has a frozen anything. Gee, thanks, dude. Luckily, if there is anything we need to get rid of that frozen would get rid of, I'm pretty sure water does as well. Oh, get that. Cool, that was just chilling out in there. And we'll plop down here. What do we get? Um. Oh yeah, this one. This one's a bit confusing, but I'm gonna go ahead and put you over Parasol. Oh, we do get an upgrade for this, so totally worthwhile. We just got, wait, can I just do this with my own sword? I can. You know what, I didn't even name the ninja, but I'll take it. Ninja's pretty cool. Get rid of that, and then plop on down. So that gives us a damage upgrade and two puzzle pieces, which is pretty huge. Let's get back up here super duper quick, and we're gone. I like how it sort of feels like I'm speed running the game, which is fun, in its own way. But definitely, I would like to see this with different abilities, but it would just take too long to do. But maybe, like I said, if, there, if some of these DLC characters release, uh, that'd be fun. 
I wouldn't mind seeing paid DLC for a game like this where maybe it adds an extra world. I feel like this story mode could have been a little longer. Some people argued with me with that and said that it was plenty long. It took them like seven or eight hours. If you combine all my videos um, of the story mode, I think it took me like five and a half hours and I didn't like do anything off camera. You know, the only thing I did was probably cut out like 10 minutes worth of times I've died and had to run back to where I was. So like in total, I beat the game, the main story mode in like five and a half hours. So I guess it would be you know, a little longer for some people than others, I'm not really sure. Maybe it takes longer to beat in co-op. But all this after game stuff does add a lot to it. So I'm not saying it like it isn't worth the money. I do think that maybe $60 is a little too much for most people. I think most people aren't gonna wanna buy this game until it's only like $40, which I can't blame them. It was worth it for me because I had a lot of fun for you with you guys and I got to show you guys the game. Uh, hmm. I love how the gear, the little circle gear thing here makes a little funny face. Little smiley face. Anyways, I don't think I missed anything, but I'll go up there just in case. I do not see anything. I just forgot. Oh boy. <laughs> that very powerful downward slam would take care of any foe. Luckily, they won't have to worry about it because it wouldn't have hit anybody. Okay. Be a little careful here, but grab as many hearts as we can. Let's see if we can't hit 100 lives in this little fight. That'd be fun. I'm not really sure if it'll be possible. I mean, we did do above 100 lives. We ended up hitting after the secret level and everything. Um, I think like 140 lives, it was pretty crazy. Anyways, let's get up here. And we got a cannon. Off we go, through the cannon. All right, I totally didn't just check my phone real quick. Oh yeah, and there is something up here. I did remember that. It's a little wheel full of goodies, including a health upgrade. So I might try to get that last if my teammates can allow it. That way, if we do get hit while trying to pick things up, we're okay. Because we'll just get a full restore from that. So everybody, hop up. Don't get hit by the by the salt, please. Thank you. We all just got a full health restore. Let's not ruin it. Whoa, we're falling. Okay, so we can go on through this way. See where we can find progress through level two of this game mode. Come on. Oh, spider. You know what, I'm gonna throw that. See, this is the next level. I wanna put him over Chef Kawasaki. <laughs> Don't fall to your doom immediately like I just did. I didn't realize that platform just disappeared. I thought it was just on the bottom of the screen. Well, there's our first first very unnecessary death. Ow. But yeah, I, I, like that platform right there, I thought it was still on the bottom of the screen. Nope, it was just totally off of it. Here. Oh, and I don't even have my abilities anymore. That's the worst. Ah, oh, get rid of you guys. Now I'm angry, I'm an angry zebra. Got it. Okay. Get rid of sleep, because I don't want to fall asleep and then fall off the edge. Nothing up here, right? Now I'm determined to get everything perfect this level, because it embarrassed me. But it is much easier to stay alive and attack. I say that after I fell, but that was sort of like a silly unintentional thing, you know? Okay. Uh, grab him. Got him. Good. I do like the song for this area. No, we'll go ahead and grab you. I think I'll go ahead and put you over Biospark. Just that way we can have some kind of ability. That'll be helpful. And we can do the same thing for, uh, Sir Kibble, Kibble, indeed. And the spider guys here, I guess we didn't have too many uh, spider-related puzzles there. Cause I'm pretty sure that was the area that introduced the spider, but maybe not. Hmm, maybe I did miss out on something, I don't know. I'm not super duper worried about it because we only need one more level for health and we need two more levels for the other thing. So as long as we can find one damage, one speed upgrade, we should be good to max everything out if they're going to have that one up for everything at wherever the you know final little boss for this area is. Which should be final boss for this area. I totally forget. Oh, is it Meta Knight? I think it's Meta Knight, yeah. So that'll be cool. Might be a little bit difficult, but hopefully uh, you know, we'll be all upgraded and ready to go for it. Okay. I love this little spinny move we have when we're underwater. It is very helpful for hitting a range of enemies from all over the place. Okay, oh, big fish. Big fish is getting out of here. Okay, that's everybody. Give me all these pieces. Two puzzle pieces for that one, which is really good. Hopefully we beat our record of 20 in the last uh, level. We can uh, hit 21 or more. <laughs> Anything, really. I mean, I just appreciate it. And I remember this secret right here. And then in here is pretty simple, just a puzzle piece. Good, good, good. I'm gonna move back this way. See, definitely not as many upgrades as quickly here in level two, but I do also think the level is supposed to be a bit longer. 
Okay, so, uh. Oh, yeah, we're at the snow area now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I love the music here. Some of these were extra stages that we're going through. You can tell by the retro music. I think this is one of them. Uh, what do I gotta do here? I always forget. Yeah, we gotta go down here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Be careful. Press the button. And then, oh no, we needed a flame related thing. I'm a dingus. Okay, try that again. Uh, because we need you. You're our friend now. And you're gonna be going over Como, because Como hasn't been helpful. Gotta be honest. There we go. Flame sword. Get back up here. Ooh. And then attack. Yeah, okay, we got it. So that should give us a good secret right there. I'd hope that'd give us a full on upgrade. And it is, it's a speed upgrade. There's level four speed. Now I just need level four damage before I can rest easy. So hopefully we run into that as well. Oh yeah, this is another extra level. They're only giving us like one segment per extra level though, which is interesting. Ow, 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 that hurt. I love this song. It's a great one. Anything up here? Not looking like it. Won't even let us check really. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Got it. And so far things are turning out quite well for this. I mean, we got a few hits in, or we got taken, we, we got taken a few hits. I don't know what I'm saying. And is this gonna be a different area? At this point, I'm not really sure. Oh, we're back to a snow. I mean, maybe that was all the same. I, I really can't remember if that was all the same extra area or not. Does it really matter? I don't know. Okay, get up here. All I'm looking for is one damage upgrade. That would just make me so happy. Whoop. Got it. Get rid of that bandana. Or it was just a wallaby. I don't know why I think it was bandana wallaby. But I did find it very cool that we did get the friend scepter in level one. I was hoping that would pop up at some point, but it hasn't yet. Okay, what do we got? These guys getting taken down. Good, good, good. Whoop. Get them out of here. We need the same thing up here. This uppercut. And then, whoop. That works really well, actually. I like it. I love how there's like different sizes of a lot of these, but they're all like, they lo all look the same except for their sizes. They're all so cute. I think we're probably gonna face a mini boss in a moment. Um, maybe here, not yet. But I think like eventually, by the end of this segment, there should be a mini boss. We really haven't faced many mini bosses. I think we f faced uh, Mr. Frosty, that's his name. And then, uh, Mr. Kawasaki, or Chef Kawasaki. I don't think we've uh, done much more than that. Oh, oh, for a second I thought I was gonna get squished. I was like, hey, well, how can I react to that? Oh, now those pigs. Destroy the pigs of doom. They're evil. Get these guys over here. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm like, I'm waiting for the mini bosses and I keep getting surprised every time because I know they're gonna show up. I remember them showing up. I just don't remember when. That's where the mystery comes in. But yeah, I've been very surprised by this game. I knew it was gonna be fun, but it's been really fun. It's been like really, really fun. Which is great, because that's what I was super excited for. So we got a one for everything upgrade there, which is great, but I didn't get my damage upgrade, which means I probably missed something along the way, and that's not good. So we're gonna go against the boss here, I think. Or maybe not yet. Oh, I think this is the boss, Arian. But sometimes there are secrets in these boss, like, walking to the boss stage areas, you know? So we should keep our eyes open. You never know what you might find. Let's go ahead and press that button. I do like this song though. I mean, maybe I could get, oh, there it is, yeah! Okay, we're maxed out, we're good to go. Oh wait, I see that, a little red, boop. Gotcha, wait, is there something up here? No. Oh, but maybe we could you know, like slide in behind the foreground or something sneaky like that. Some games like to do it. Okay, so we're good to go. I don't see too much going on there. All right, so we're going against Meta Knight. Uh, I think everything's fine how it is. I mean, we could uh, get Burning Leo a heal, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, get rid of you. I mean, I could have taken that Burning Leo. Oh well, I don't think it's gonna be a problem that he doesn't have max health. Or we can just replace him. Goodbye, Burning Leo. You are now a bird on. Just press that button. Keep going this way. But man, moving around at max speed is so much fun. I really enjoy it. And now I have a water sword. Not really what I was trying to do there, but water sword will work fine. Hi, Meta Knight. How are you? He's Meta Knight. So if we kept, we could have actually gotten Meta Knight from the scepter, I think. So we could have just been Meta Knight versus Meta Knight here, which would have been funny. I like that idea. 
Okay, so let's get him as much as we can. I feel like I'm way more better at this game, at least in some extent, than the last time I properly fought him. I mean, I did fight him in the little uh, thing last episode, the uh, hot sauce thing, whatever it's called. The ultimate challenge. Oh, I'm doing pretty good with that, the little spinny move. It just keeps going. Who is the better swordsman now? Ow, ow, that hurt. <laughs> there we go, we got him, okay, that was pretty easy. Got you, Meta Knight. You're my friend. You're my friend. No, it doesn't work. Oh, oh well. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Okay, so we got it. We cleared level two in 17 minutes and 33 seconds. We still have lots more to go, though. And we get 19. Ah, oh, that's still really good, though. We get more puzzle pieces here than ever. Really starting to com continue that one. That one's definitely Kirby's Return to Dreamland. These ones don't have nearly enough to know what they are. Okay. So we have three more levels left to go. We're just gonna continue forward. So this one will be for World 3, which wasn't too bad. It was the uh, Jam Bastion. All right, ooh, you know what? Let's take you out of my face. You hit me right at the perfect moment. And we're gonna go ahead and put you over uh, Dribbly. But yeah, we're back to being normal. <laughs> we don't have any special upgrades or nothing, so. I'm gonna have to play well for a little bit, and oh, I'm not very good at that part. Playing well of video games? Pfft, not my forte. Okay, so I, I definitely sometimes get a little lost between me and all my teammates, and that's something I need to just be aware of so I don't make any kind of ridiculous mistakes, like just jump off a ledge. I feel like that's something I could do. Gosh, that was some really great foreshadowing. I, I really didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I don't have my abilities now, but that's fine. Because you can give me the Bluster Sword, the Sword of Blasting. Whatever that's supposed to mean. All right. Uh, oh, I like it. Oh, I like it already. We have had the Bluster Sword in the past, but of course, every time you reload the game, it basically redoes all those cutscenes. Because I think it only does them once per, you know, first time you're playing this session. I don't know, it's weird. But it basically will redo those cutscenes once you get taken out. I guess it won't give me the, uh, Puzzle piece since I already got it. Can't farm up puzzle pieces that way, that's unfortunate. Apparently you can get puzzle pieces through a Kirby-related amiibo, which is pretty cool. I don't have any of that, but uh, a zebra can dream, can he? <laughs> I actually still don't own like a single amiibo. I'm thinking about it. I know that the uh, Splatoon 2 amiibos are coming out soon. I'm like, oh, that looks tempting. But at the same time, I'm always able to convince myself out of it right at the end. It's like, you know, do I really need the plastic figures? Like, uh, I guess not. I mean, with Splatoon, it's tempting because they usually unlock extra content, and I can show that for you guys. But uh, a lot of them, like the Kirby ones for this game, like they don't unlock anything special. They just give you collectibles you can already get an abundance of in the game. So it's like, well, that's not really, you don't need that. If you already have the Amiibos, it's a nice little bonus, but it's not extra content. I mean, I sort of do prefer that. I do not want, uh, you know, oh gosh, I was supposed to get him. No, we, we already have the uh, NESP guide. Can he combo with me so I can just be electric sword dude? Uh, thanks, there you go. Uh, that's not enough though. So what do I need to do to get, do we need Javelin? Or maybe I just need this dude. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and put you over Sir Kibble. See if you can't get the job done over here. Come on, I think you can. If not, I don't remember how to do this. Uh, oh, did that do it? Oh, what, what did we do there? I have no clue. <laughs> I probably missed something obvious. Got the speed up there though, that's the first upgrade. Good, 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 good. I don't see anything else going on here. I can hit it again, it just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I probably was supposed to hit this button and I just didn't even see it. Silly zebra. Ow. <laughs> okay, press all that. But yeah, Amiibo are cool. Was very surprised that there was not a new line of Amiibo for this game. Was hoping there was going to be. Of course, they've sort of been releasing Amiibo for all the mainline Nintendo games releasing. Oh, hey, uh, I guess I don't really need you. And I'd be tempted to get you if I could become you, but I can't. So it's not really worth it. I don't think we can even befriend him in that way. I really need some food, though, or a health upgrade. One of those two would be great right now. Um, But yeah, for you know the Breath of the Wild, we got some new Breath of the Wild Amiibo. Same thing for Mario Odyssey. Have they ever done Mario Kart Amiibos? Man, that's a missed opportunity. I think a lot of people would be interested in picking up an Amiibo that it was just a Mario Kart, like Mario and Mario Kart. That'd be so cool. Like, you don't have to have every Mario Kart character, but just like Mario. Mario on, you know, Mario Kart 8 Kart. That would be so cool. I see you over here. 
think people pointed me pointed out that I missed that one. Luckily, they don't actually count towards your percentage if you miss the blue ones in the story mode, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I don't think this will restore my health, which is the one I'm worried about. I mean, I'm the only one who has an ability here, so I guess I could just, uh, well, not nah, that was the only one I shouldn't have gotten. Get that, get you, and then get you. No, wait. And then I'm gonna put you over Blade Knight, because I can be the only Blade Knight. Nobody shall replicate me. We'll get the electric sword, and we're gonna get rid of Yo-Yo Dude. Whoa, don't hit me, you hit me. This is actually a problem, I might die in a moment. Uh, I gotta be super careful. Man, I hope that the game can call flip some cash, or give us a boss fight. This should be one of the Jambastion sisters, whatever they're called. Oh no, it's uh, Pon and Con. I want uh, Amiibo of these guys. That, that would be my first ever Amiibo purchase, would be Pon and Con. Apparently these guys were in Kirby 3. I'm not familiar with that Kirby. So cool to know, I already took care of Con, I think. Or maybe not. Uh, no, he's still kicking. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna charge up really quickly. And then I'm gonna, whoa! Uh, my teammates are doing a really great job without me. I'll say that much. <laughs> Holy cow. Calm down, guys. No, I'm the main character here, aren't I? All right, charge up. I'm gonna hit him good. Ooh, whoa, whoa look at that cow. Okay, finish him off. <laughs> I missed. Oh boy, oh, somebody got him. Good stuff, I somehow survived that without getting taken out. So there goes, I guess, sort of the level one boss, yeah? Maybe the, yeah, because that was like the entrance to Jambastion, I remember. So we're just gonna keep moving farther into the Jambastion ship. But yeah, I would like to see Amiibo of the three sisters, of the main, like the main bad guys would be pretty cool. But I, I mean, I can understand why they might not want to. I don't know how well this game sold or how well it's selling. Apparently Kirby has had a past of not always selling the best. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. But that's what I've just heard. Ooh, oh. But I don't know, Kirby games are a lot of fun and I'm enjoying them and that's all that matters to me. Yeah, hopefully we do get some cooler amiibos. But I mean, we've already had plenty. Some people seem to like, not want certain amiibos not because they don't think it would be cool but because they don't want to collect them. And it's like, I don't know, I don't like. I don't know if I like that kind of mentality too much just because like, I might not enjoy it but if somebody else enjoys it, more power to them, right? All right, so this is the friendship wheel. No, it's the friendship bridge again. This is my least favorite one, but I feel like we're getting it more than anything else. All right, boom. Not that it's bad, it's just a little slow, and I like all the fast paced ones. So we need you to bounce off like that. Yeah, so you bounce off like that as well, and then bounce one more time, an additional time right here, and we're good. Okay, so where are you gonna be running off to? Down there. And we're gonna get three things. Uh, what kind of upgrade? Hopefully, some kind of upgrade. So there was the door we would have went through if we failed. And, oh, it's a button. So hopefully this gives us a friendship? No, it doesn't. It doesn't give us the friend scepter. We'll get two upgrades, which is pretty uncommon, so I'll take it. More speed upgrades, more health upgrades are all good. We did get a health upgrade earlier, so I ended up getting my full health back, which is great. That's really awful. Because we're all good to go at this point. We're all pretty powerful. It's been a lot of fun. I do like the idea of the upgrades, making an easy game even easier, which makes sense. You don't wanna make it too difficult or you don't wanna make it t last too long because you're basically playing through the game again. There are no new levels here. It's just sort of a uh, a marathon of them all, which can be pretty cool in its own right, but as somebody who just beat the game, it's a little like, uh, I don't want this to last forever. Wow, there we go. Got rid of all these dudes. Go ahead and get rid of those dudes as well. And that's it. No, oh, there it is. I was gonna say no prizes for that. We got level three speed, which is pretty cool. I definitely don't wanna just like accidentally run away from any kind of benefit. One thing I definitely have noticed is that because the health upgrades basically give everybody the full health back, I haven't seen um, any actual food being given. So that's weird. Yeah, I don't think there's been a single instance where we've gotten food, so. Good to keep in mind that once we're low on health, that might be the, e the end of it if we're not uh, too careful. So we haven't gotten too much health upgrades. As you can see, we're only level one with that. But level three with the other two things, just a little crazy. Okay, so we could at least, you know, all it's only uh, an ESP that's a little low on health here, but we might as well give them a restore. Uh, so we'll just go like that. 
and then go like this. Now I was the only one who had any kind of combo going on, so this doesn't really matter too much if we combo them or not. But I'm guessing we're gonna go against another boss here. It'll be the first sister, which is the ice one. We have to be a little bit careful, but it should be fine. But yeah, we're getting pretty far into this. It might take us a little while. Oh, ah, nope, I missed. Come on, come on. Oh boy. Be careful. We actually did pretty well there. She's gonna swing. Oh, oh, going into phase two, huh? Not if I have anything to say about it. I missed, by the way. <laughs> oh gosh, be careful. You can beat those up a little bit. Oh no, I'm frozen. Gotta be careful. Can we hit her from here? I guess we can. She sort of looks like she's in the background, but I suppose she isn't. Um, So we can hit her with the electricity like that, which is really cool. Okay, I got her a little bit, but I got frozen again. Oh boy, be real careful. Charge up, boom, let it rip. There we go, we destroyed her. Right towards the end, you're my friend. You're my friend. Darn it. <laughs> I wanted them to join me. It'd be so cool if we could play as them. That'd be awesome. Maybe that would be a DLC at some point. But I can definitely see them just adding more game modes and that being pretty enjoyable. Now I remember there is a secret around here that we actually, I think we did an okay job with, but then afterwards we died. Dodge all these dudes. Of course, you can pick up the crash ability there to make it easier to uh, get through all of this, but it doesn't matter too much. It isn't too bad. Or maybe there's not a secret here. There's a secret coming up for sure. And we'll have to be ready for it. Hmm, hop through the cannon, and we're out of here, see it? Oh gosh, oh, I totally forgot about this. I pressed jump way too soon. Ow, ow, the mask, dude, get out of here. Go, go, go. We're gonna be careful of everything then. Time everything just right. Or well enough. <laughs> Blasting through here. I mean, I might have just skipped the area with a secret, I'm a dingus. I'm rushing through things too much, that's the problem. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I think I'll be able to handle this. It opens, we shoot out. See, look at how easy that is. I was just being silly. And then, let's go, see it. <laughs> Busting right through you guys. And there we go, there is finally a health upgrade. So we're three, two, three now when it comes to our upgrades on the top left. We could get another speed upgrade. I mean, that'd be great, but uh, upgrading anything right now is preferred. Can somebody give me the electric ability? Thank you. Whoa. And then don't fall to our doom. Be real careful. Uh, There we go. <laughs> All I was trying to do is hit that bomb, but also not fall to my doom, because I just feel like that's happening a little too often for my tastes at the moment. I will slam this. That'll give me a couple hearts. But yeah, we're making some decent progress through Jam Bastion. It could be a little bit faster. It definitely could be slower. Um, and then I guess we could put a bomb down here, like the game wants us to do, or we could just do it our own way. Oh my, be careful. With my electric powers, though, it is quite easy to deal with these guys, especially they have a puzzle piece they're storing away in there. Heard of you or not. You know what, I'm just gonna dodge all you guys and go through the door. Yeah, I think this was the level I sort of struggled with in the main game. Hmm. I don't have to worry about that too much because everybody's on full health except for me. Our team is plenty fine. Whoa, 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 I'm moving too fast for this stuff. That's so cool. That was really fun. All right. So I don't know if there'll be any kind of cool ending to this or if it's just going to be the, the game. Cause some people are saying there is like a secret boss that I don't know if I missed or if I just haven't had the chance to get to, but I'm gonna guess it's probably in one of these mini games. Cause this one, you know, is just basically the story again, just without Kirby. And then there's the other game mode, the, uh, it was, that's basically like, it seems to be a boss rush, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Man, they did really add some very cool things to this one. Leave Waddle do alone, what did he do to you? You're my friend! <laughs> it won't work. 11 minutes for the checkpoint. I guess it is a little bit longer. Let's move to the next stage. See what we get. We get ourselves this. Okay, so this shouldn't be too bad as long as we really force our way through. I mean, I feel like Jim Bastion was a tough world overall. Was it more difficult than uh, World 4? Uh, hard to say. The problem with World 4 is it was just a gauntlet that took forever. It was like the longest world I've ever had in like a video game. You know, like in a platformer that just has a linear amount of worlds. Pretty sure it was like the longest one of all time. Okay, so, oh, you're ice now? That, that sort of makes sense, that's fine, because we already had an electric guy. Okay, 
That's not worth finish that, finishing though. Luckily, you know, the, the farther we get into this, the more upgrades we get, the easier it gets, because it's just, man, we can just sort of storm through everything much quicker. We have level four now when it comes to speed. And we just got the checkpoints, so we're probably about halfway through. But once again, maybe the second half will be a little bit quicker just because we can run quicker. Different view, different view. Keep moving, we ain't done. Can we go through this? Yeah, we can't go through the floor here. This will just be a bunch of normal characters. Really, the only limit of the speed here is how quickly we can defeat everything. Sort of one thing that I don't like about these kind of areas is that I'll go right to face other enemies, hoping that the you know our teammates will go to the left and face the enemies on the left. But a lot of the times, they'll just sort of follow you around, and because of that, they're not as productive. Uh, you know what, sure, we'll take you. We'll put you over, Chili. We just got Chili, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> he can't put the, uh, the cannon in there, unfortunately. But as long as I get a little bit of food, Bird on needs some too. This is the best way to get some health back up. Good, good, good. Okay, we're all good to go, I think. Well, there you are. So what'll this do? Drop a bunch of stuff, cool. So there's our health upgrade immediately after that basically made it not worth picking up Chef Kawasaki, but that's okay. He's a cool guy, I'll have him around. Hmm. So let's plop down here. And we made it. Oh gosh, I didn't know that that would close. I don't remember that happening. Oh man, maybe I'm going a little too fast indeed. All right, let's go ahead and give me electric. Oh wow, we don't have Chef Kawasaki anymore. I guess he got taken out before I did. So that just counts as like him getting taken out, we don't have him anymore. Man, I'm silly. All right, so what do we got going on here? Now I just gotta remember to take things slow, use my brain, and I should be fine. So I can just open. So I'm gonna wait for it to close again, and then, now, we should be good. Really, the timing isn't that bad once you actually pay attention. But, and we'll get a puzzle piece out of that, which will be fantabulous. There we go. And we're good. I think that was the last part of it. Now I'll just launch us down here. We get a damage upgrade level four with that, so we just need extra health. We'll be good to go. We'll be good to go before we reach the final area. You know what I mean. Keep moving. I probably should take somebody. I don't know if I wanted to take you, but I did. It's something, you know, it's better than nothing, that's for sure. Oh boy, something's always better than nothing. Oh, we get two pieces here. Get one right here, and then another one there. We definitely are getting a fair amount this time, but this, is, this one's probably gonna be longer than the other two. No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. So I'm just gonna storm ahead in front of my teammates. As long as the leader makes it, everybody else does, so it's okay. Oh, and we got a friendship circle. It's gonna be the train, I think so. Please let it be the train. Please, the train's, yes, the most enjoyable one. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. We got the friendship train. All aboard. We're gonna have sleepovers and pizza parties. It's gonna be great, and we're on the ceiling. <laughs> this, this was a very wild, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sleepover, real quick. All right, so we have over 30 lives. So yeah, we're definitely making good progress with that. Come on, ready, set, jump. Let's try not to get a, let's not try, try not to lose a life so easily on such a wonderful section. I thought this was a little bit different, but I'm probably not correct at all. I mean, it did give us a little friendship train earlier on World One where you don't typically get a friendship train. I'm almost positive, right? Or maybe I missed a friendship train in World One and I'm like so upset now just by that idea. I'm pretty sure I didn't though. I mean, the game says I got everything. Like, you can tell on the main menu there are like little hearts next to the little menus, so I think that signifies that you got everything. So it says that for both the uh, Chop Chop, or Chop Champ mini game, and then the, uh, whoa, no, wait, wait, undo everything, I missed secrets. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't be so stingy, but at the same time, I cannot miss out on secrets. All right, well, we're going again. Ugh, I'm so upset with myself now. Come on. Come on, come on. Good, 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 good. Get rid of all these masks. But uh, yeah, so it, it had that for the two mini games we played. There we go. That time I did it successfully. Oh wait, was this the one I messed up? Oh, gosh, darn it. Come on, that's tough. That's actually really difficult. There we go. Really difficult jump, but we made it. We figured it out finally. Now we need to go up here. See, look, this area is so much better. And look at all this stuff. We wouldn't have been able to get this upgrade, I'm pretty sure. Well, I will gladly take it. It'll be one up for everything, which means we just need one health upgrade, which hopefully we can find soon. All right, let's move it, let's move it. So we're gonna just charge on towards the final boss of this area, which will be good. 
Because we got the checkpoint 11 minutes in. So it would be pretty crazy for uh Yeah, I don't know if we'll face the boss and do the like the rolling out of here like we did with the uh actual level, or if it'll just be that boss and we'll be done. Hmm. We're gonna find out. Oh boy. You know, just dodge him. Yep, not even gonna deal with it. And we move so crazy fast, it's awesome. Like I feel like an actual like ninja, even if I'm not even playing the ninja character. I do need to get some sort of abilities. Okay, I got the electric. Good enough for me. So now, I'm just trying to beat up all these dudes. And then hopefully they'll give a good prize. The health upgrade would be the best possible prize. Yeah, they do it! Thank you! So we're max everything now. And we can go in through the door, which probably means we're gonna face this boss. Maybe do the rolling thing towards the end and be gun. Will that take another four or five minutes? I don't know. Come on, charge through all of these guys. Ow, why did you have to hit my teammate right at the end there? That's unnecessary. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Go through the door. I mean, I do have two NESPs. I probably wanna fix that soon, but right now I'm not even concerned about it. Oh, wow, yeah. So we got a Zan part of Zan. We're gonna face the other two sisters, so it makes sense. Oh. So probably electric versus electric isn't the best idea, especially when she immediately hits me. Ooh, already got through our first phase now. We're doing a lot of stuff to her. Oh boy. Hold on. Oh yeah, she's gonna be shooting that way for a little while, so uh, I could just charge up and get her like that. Okay, that one was like the quickest out of the three sisters. She does have some pretty easy to deal with. Uh, you're gonna be my friend, or you'll, <laughs> whether you like it or not. But um, yeah, that's it. 16 minutes, so wow. It really wasn't the halfway point there. We got the checkpoint in 11 minutes, so. Pretty good stuff. There's more paintings completed. Super glad to see it. But yeah, she was the easiest because she sort of had some easy to manipulate uh, phases with being able to stand in one corner and just throw out electric balls. We could just hide behind her and, and attack. Two more levels left to go. Level four should take a while, but level five shouldn't. So we'll just keep it all in the same episode. Level four, this is so cool. Ah, oh, man, I love the beginning parts of this world for sure when we have this like very cool fall area. And we'll do what we can about everything. I always miss my uh, upgrades after I don't have them anymore. Just put you over at the uh, lower health NESP. Oh, get some of those healths. Healths, hearts, <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's let you fall down there. So far we're handling this quite well. Like it really isn't too difficult. I think this would be a lot of fun in multiplayer with a lot of people, you know, just because everybody could sort of play what they wanted to. We'll get this one, that's a puzzle piece. That's our first puzzle piece of the area. But yeah, in this episode, we've gotten so many puzzle pieces. This is great. I don't know if we would get one, get this many normally in about an hour plus, but I don't care. Is this an upgrade? I hope so. Nope, not quite. Okay, so I'm still on the search for upgrades. Ow, goodbye. <laughs> I love that, he just flies off into the space. He's like, oh no! Go ahead and get this. I'm looking for those upgrades. I feel like there should be one around here soon enough. I have the key. Oh yeah, there was a tricky secret around here. I remember that. Or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up. In one of these fall type levels, there was a really tricky secret I remember. Can't exactly remember which one though. Now let's get up here. Get that, excuse me, sir. I'm not going to deal with you if I can manage. Get to pull up your shield. Pull up your shield and hide away like the coward you are. Oh, no, we needed you. All right, let's pop back down. Or actually, no, the bird lady might be able to do this. Come on, bird lady, help us out. Bird on. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Get ourselves two golden hearts. That was a little underwhelming. But maybe not for this one. We got a red heart, that's slightly better. This is what we're looking for. Over here, over here. Come on, can you do it? Maybe you could just give me Bluster Sword, then I can do it. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, oh man, I messed that up. Try to go back down there if I can. Flop on down, and then, whoa, dodge you. <laughs> All right, go through here. Can this give us our first upgrade to this area? That'd be great. Uh, it isn't. Odd. I like missing out on a ton of upgrades. I remember this. This is a little scary. Got it. Got it. And then finally, there should be two, three, actually. Oh boy. Quickly go down there. Oh, there might be one in the chest, actually. I should keep that in mind. Ooh, got it. Yeah, there's a speed upgrade, my favorite. It really is, because we just move so much faster, we can get everything done quicker. Yeah, and this is Kirby Star Allies done in an hour and a half, practically. Just without Kirby. Kirby without Kirby, it's my favorite kind of Kirby, really. I mean, I do miss the pink puffball. Being able to take any ability I see, that's like really helpful. 
that will be missed. I got that. Okay, so let's try to get rid of this treasure test and this one down here. There's just like so much stuff to grab. And what about here? I know there's another secret coming up, I'm almost positive. Which is good, because we need a lot more. Oh, I'm getting low on health though. I gotta be careful if we get a health upgrade next. Whoa, I have a bomb. Be careful. I, as I just said, I'm low on health. I don't want to explode. Oh, a key. All right, I'll take this one. Leave me alone, Mr. Lasso dude. So there's that, but what is over here? Another treasure chest. Oh, invincibility, cool. Oh, did they try to heal me or was I trying to heal them? I don't even know, because we all still sort of have the same health. Or maybe I gave them invincibility. Oh, that's cool. Well, with this we can just storm through pretty quick. I was trying to find some secrets or something. Oh, mini boss, mini boss. Yeah, it's Bugsy, get rid of him, get rid of him. Get rid of that Bugsy. What? yeah, <laughs> no damage taken from me, thank you. Keep moving, keep moving. Get rid of that. Get rid of you. Oh, there it is, thank you Poppy Bros for picking that up, we're all back to full health and then I instantly get hit again. Was not just fantabulous. Whew. But yeah, this is only one of the many great Switch adventures I plan on going on this year. I hope you guys are excited for it. I mean, I think, yeah, this is the first major Switch game that's released this year. Right? Yeah. I, I keep on thinking, like, there's been other games I've played that have released this year, but none of them have been Switch titles. Um, there are plenty more. You now I was talking about Donkey Kong Country Returns Tropical Freeze in May. I'll be playing that. That's gonna be so much fun. Uh, there's whatever, whenever the new Yoshi game comes out. There's a collection of games. I'm really excited for all of them. Basically, every major Nintendo title. A lot of people have been like, "Hey, you're gonna be playing Smash Brothers." I've never been the biggest fan of Smash Brothers. That's not that you know the answers. No, it's that I don't really know. It'd be cool if the Smash Brothers had some kind of story mode like the Wii one did. I would definitely give it a shot. But we'll have to see. Time will tell. All right, do we need you? We'll probably need you. I'm gonna put you over Poppy Bros. Let's go. Because I think Poppy Bros is our lowest health guy excluding me, because I, I, I'm apparently always the lowest health guy. I am in the forefront of all the damage. That does sort of make sense. Okay, so we do have some friends we can do things with here. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know what, no. I'll do, that's not what I wanted. Well, there goes the guy I just got. We'll put you over any SP, because you'll do the same thing. And then if somebody could give Yo-Yo Dude, him, if, if, come on, can we give him something special? No, give Yo-Yo Dude something special. Thank you. So he's electric and I am wind. So we, we got some variety, the Zap Yo-Yo. Hiya! Oh boy. No, no, come on, stop it. You're being silly. We don't need to keep what you had. Oh, uh, we have some variety. Not anymore! We got a boss fight, that's what we have. So this one's uh, Wispy Woods and then we have Yigi Woods after this, so. Let's try to de deal with you as quickly as I possibly can. It might be easy, it might not be, because we do his phase right here and then he goes into the next one. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Come on, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Charge up. I'm trying to finish him off before he can do anything crazy, and that's exactly what we did. Holy cow, you got destroyed there, dude. Can I throw a heart at you, please? You don't take it, okay. I had to try. Uh, There's the beetle, there's the fire. I don't know if I care too much. Keep moving, keep moving, and we have this dude. So, let's get, let's get. <laughs> we should be pretty good. Cause this is still, I think, the first level then? I can't remember. Or maybe the second level of our world. Whoa, where am I? I don't even know where I am right now. Oh, 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 don't get eaten. Oh gosh, that might actually take me out. I gotta be careful. Here, charge up and then let it loose. But then I gotta be careful, I gotta back up a little bit. Oh, is he gonna do the same thing? He's gonna be a little tree hopping dude. Whoa. All right, charge up. Oh, he just gives so little room. Come on, guys. We gotta keep going. Ow, ow, don't get taken out, please. Oh, oh, jump, jump, hide. And then get over there if we can. Whoa, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, come on, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, he's so low, he's so low. Yeah, we took him out just barely. Oh boy, look at how small my health is. Can we get you? All right, well there's that area done. We got so much more left to do. I really need a health upgrade, get out of here. Get you jerk. Let's plop on down, and we're good. Yeah, this is actually, yeah, this was the third level. There were like two fall levels to begin with in World 4, and then we had this level. So we're making some okay progress through it. There's like 50 levels to World uh, 4. 
<laughs> so we're gonna be here still a little while, but that's okay. Well, now I get to do it all again. Everybody combo up. See, because even my uh, yo-yo friends here lost some abilities. There we go. I just want yo-yo friend to get something. Guys, come on. Don't just fight over me. <laughs> and then give me electric or give him, I don't care as long as it's a variety because that's what's satisfying. Come on, get rid of you. Get rid of this dude. You can attack the little fireballs and it gets rid of them. I was just bad at timing. And it making me lose a life again. I definitely have been dying a lot more often in this than the actual story mode, but I'm also trying to go through it relatively quickly. Okay. What do we have now? More of this. Yeah, the swimming sections aren't too bad in this game. There have been a lot of platforming games where the swimming sections are not to die for, to say the least. Uh, luckily, this hasn't been one of them. Uh, we do have to be careful because I know that sometimes we'll have to spin around to get an extra little bit of secret. Get rid of these dudes though, they're the worst. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything over that way. But this time I think we'll have to uh, stick around a little bit after we press the button. Maybe not though. Uh, somebody, as long as somebody gets his little hearts, that's all I want. <laughs> and somebody is. That's good, there's that puzzle piece. I knew there was something around here. I remembered correctly. Whoa, okay, be careful. So before I go over there, yep, we got ourselves a damage upgrade. Attack level two, very cool. So you guys keep moving that way, I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and swim against the current because we're that cool. Keep moving, come on, come on, I know you can do it. Or can you not? Oh, we're getting close, we're getting close. We got it, we got it, we fought the current, we made our way through. Okay, so, uh, oh boy. Hop out. Should I get spark, dude? No, we already got electric things, so I'm fine. Should I break that? I did. Didn't really give me much. Hmm. Oh, slam down. <laughs> sort of over jumped there. You move crazy quick with the, the, the bluster sword. Faster than I expect. We can go ahead and slam these. Basically, I'm just trying to make sure they don't have anything worthwhile. Oh, get rid of you or not. Never mind. My teammates did it. Luckily, they, they pick up my slack really, really well. And we got one up. Okay, good. I think we're gonna go through this door. I don't remember this level having a boss fight. I really don't think it does. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna be going against every boss that was in World 4, which was a lot of boss fights. To be honest with you, it was a whole big bunch of boss fights. It was like a lot, because you went against every sister again, I think. Right? Or maybe you just went against uh, Zan Partizan. Then of course we had the Iggy, or the, no, the uh, Wispy Woods and then the Iggy Woods. And then there was the weird egg thing. And I think there was even more. There was Cracko. So like, yeah, there was a lot of boss fights in World 4. Like more than you'd expect, but uh, it was also like a two hour long world. Charge through you, get rid of you. Everybody's getting all beat up. I don't know how much I appreciate it. Yeah, we got a health upgrade though. The game knew. Okay, get rid of you. Keep moving. We ain't done yet. Okay, so. Is this in, yeah, this is in, this is in the upgrade area. I think we should be getting an upgrade from this. I'd hope so. Maybe more speed would be nice. Let's go down slowly. We gotta sort of watch what we have to deal with here and try to memorize it. So it's like over here and then over here. And then I think right there. No, yeah, okay. Yo-Yo Dude got it. Thank you, Yo-Yo Dude. We do get a speed upgrade and we get a bunch of health if we need it from Mr. Kawasaki. We don't though. All right. So we're gonna be a little bit faster, which is all I ever ask for, so get through it more quickly. Okay. But it is a fun way to replay through the game. Like if I wanted to do it, like, you know, like, oh, I'm sort of in the mood to play through the Kirby story again, but it's a little long for my taste right now, I would definitely like play this. And it does give it a bit of variety, just because you get to play as the NPCs, which is just fun. It's just a cool idea to play as the NPCs. But I feel like if I were to choose this between this and the uh, ultimate choice, uh, mini game. I do like that one a little bit more. Then we got also gold on and box here. This is another uh, boss I totally forgot about. There are bosses towards the end of this. So we, ow, ow, stop, and jerk. Come on, ready? Spin at him. Oh, we did some good damage, eh? Go, oh, get rid of his little friends. Come on. Oh, oh, did that hurt him? Oh, it did a little bit, I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we did a little bit there. I mean, I haven't taken too much damage. Oh yeah, and then this gets super confusing. Cause they're just like in and out. 
all over the place like a Scooby-Doo movie because they never pop out. Okay, sometimes they do. But sometimes they do not pop up the same way they pop in. At least it doesn't seem like it to me. I mean, maybe they always did, but I swear that there were times where they won it. I don't know. Like right there, he went into that one up there. Oh gosh, let's pop down there. Or maybe not. Oh, no, that was just his bomb. All right, we got rid of him though. <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all, donk. We got you. I like them as little friends as well. All right, so our checkpoint's 10 minutes. Very good. Start here next time if I want to, but I don't. I wanna keep moving. I don't wanna have to start over at all. Ready and go. We're just gonna fall. But it is cool that it's against the clock. This is probably a more enjoyable way to uh, speed run it as well. Just because you got all these cool upgrades. So yeah, I'd love to hear if you guys got some good times for this kind of stuff. Like how well am I comparing? Oh, I remember this one. So this one takes a little while to do properly. It'll be worth doing. So we have whatever we got here, bonkers. Oh geez, <laughs> look at me go. I'm just like wah, 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 wah. all in the air. Come on, slice them up and then jump in the air. Ow, didn't quite the jump, get the jump exactly, but we'll go ahead and get you. You're gonna go over, uh, we'll, go, we'll put them over, yo, yo, dude. And then grab that heart, go through here. So not only do we have to go through each one of these, you know, just to complete the level, but we do get a bonus for it if we do it all properly. So there's that one done. Moving over here, we got ourselves another door. What is it, I think this one gives us Mr. Frosty. We'll just sort of take whatever we can get. Oh, charge up, when his health gets full. And I, I, did, I did call it, so that's pretty cool. Wow, wow, we moved so quick. Nice, we destroyed him. All right, get Mr. Frosty. He's gonna go over Waddledoo. We're good to go. Good to go indeed. Got that heart. So let's see how good of a time we can make. I definitely wanna get whatever's, whatever upgrade is gonna be waiting towards the end. But this is a fun level to have in here. Uh, keep moving. Please don't run into that. Thanks. Uh, ow. Okay. So what is this one gonna have? Whatever it has, we'll put it over the bird. And then we'll try to, no, keep moving. Is this paint red? No, it's Bugsy. I don't think we need Bugsy all that much compared to the other guy, so. Ow, ow, you're beating me up. Please beat up anybody but me, because if I get taken out, we gotta do it over. If you take out other people, I can always sorta of kinda of get them back. We'll still put you over to the bird. Uh, bird on. Fall on down here. We got a one up, which is nice, but I'm more looking forward to is whatever upgrade we get towards the end. Uh, get up here. Then yeah, this is the way to the secret area, I think. So this I could actually just do myself. We don't need chili for. And then we need hammer dude for this. I'm just trying to get done what we need done because we need everyone, so we can't do it in like one full swoop. And this is what we need Bugsy for. So Bugsy, I'm gonna hop on. And this is where we'll need paint trap for this. I'm like, no, whoa, whoa. Okay, awesome. So we'll now go and get paint trap and we'll get some extra stuff for that. Painter should be, I think, right over here. If not, there's another one that I think we have to do too. We're doing this much faster than the original time we did this level, I can tell you that much. All right, so who do we got? Painter? No, it's Chef Kawasaki, which actually might be worthwhile. Uh, he might give us a good health upgrade. Oh uh, boy. Uh, charge up. But whenever, I've noticed that almost every time we ever get Chef Kawasaki around, there is usually a uh, health upgrade very nearby. I wanted Chef Kawasaki to do his thing, but I guess he's not gonna do it. Okay, we're out of here. So I don't have my air sword anymore. Oh wait, 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 that's where we do it. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Come on, come on over here. My friends, I need Chef, come on. Well now we have an ice hammer, cool. But first, Chef, do your Chef thing. Are you really not gonna do it? Oh, there he goes. It just took him an extra second for no reason. All right, give me some meals here, dude. Add some salt and some pepper to milk in a bottle and an orange. All right, everybody, eat up, eat up, eat up. I'm the only one who needs health at this point, so we're out of here. I can go through this door, and then there's just the painter one to do, wherever that might be. I think it's up here. Well, I guess we do get to start over from here, which is good. But I think it's this one. Wah, you're frozen. Go through the door. Well, let's get painter. I wish I could play as painter. I don't know if you could play as the mid-bosses. Oh man, I really wish you could. 
I mean like, in this mode, like, like I started from, from the beginning with Sword. I don't know if you could start from the beginning with Paintra. Or not Paintra, why do I call her Paintra? Who's Paintra? Is that another boss? I think so. Well, that's not what I wanted. You're Vividria. Hmm. Maybe there is a curvy enemy called Paintra that I'm just forgetting. Regardless, we have the painting ability now, so she can do her thing. I might want to hop on top of her, just like that. Then we should be good to go. We could get all that extra stuff in a moment. I'm landing on you again, because for whatever reason, I don't know, you just undid it. And then we'll go, go, and start painting things. I've already painted it. But we'll get a puzzle piece, another puzzle piece, I'll get those on my way back. Then finally, boom, a speed upgrades. We're level three speed now, we're gonna be moving real quick. Look at us go, charging forward. I like how the uh, so the Blade Knight guy does sort of hold his sword forward like he is like commanding a troop of uh, like an army, like, forward men into battle. That's fun. Okay, so now we're at the not so splendid ice area. Ah, 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 oh, that was scary. <laughs> Please stop landing in the spikes. Thank you. Oh, oh, hey, stop it. Get out of here, sir. Is there, okay, there is a floor on the bottom of this one. That's good. I don't like these uh, falling to my doom sections. Uh, they are not that fun. Let's go ahead and get rid of this bird or just move past him. That's what the nice thing is. We can just run away. No benefit in taking him out. Live and let live, as they say, as long as they let me live, which sometimes, as you can see with that little dude, he does not want to let me live. Okay, I really wish some more stuff would give us health, but I guess they're not too interested in that. Okay, get rid of you, got it. Oh boy, be careful. Oh, <laughs> be careful, immediately run into that. No good. What is this, ooh, we are due for a health upgrade soon, but we're also due for a damage upgrade. I'm sure we'll get them soon. Can somebody help me out with this? Thanks, never mind. Ow, I landed in the spikes again. Can somebody here heal me? You can do this, which is good. Go ahead and give me some food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I really needed it right now. I really needed your guys' support. That's another big benefit, is you get the emotional support of your team. Hmm. Okay, so I can get rid of this one. And this will have another puzzle piece. Good, good, good. Over this way, I'm gonna destroy you. Be careful, whoa, <laughs> a little scary. Oh, there's a damage upgrade up there. Better than nothing, that's for sure, so I'll go get that in a moment. Do I have to get rid of this dude first? I suppose so, I gotta help out my team. Like I said, we're always there for each other. I mean, I don't know how Kirby is gonna come back in another game. I mean, that's sort of another interesting topic. I'll probably talk about in a couple moments here. But uh, yeah, I don't know how Kirby in the next game is going to uh, come back from not having teammates. Like, if in the next game he just doesn't have teammates. I mean, I guess sort of that's the thing about Kirby is that it's just sort of whatever. You know, like, whatever the game is, people just sort of enjoy it, even if it's canonically is confusing that, like, in the last game he teamed up with everybody and worked with them, and then in this game, in the next game, he isn't, you know? That'd be weird. I feel like the next Kirby game has to really mix up the formula. Because I know they sort of stopped with Kirby for like a good couple of years, and then they came back with like Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and then Triple Deluxe, and then Planet Robobot, and then this game. And it was a very good return to form for Kirby. But now the formula has sort of been back, and it's like, okay, what more can they really do? They made him go into a robot, they made him have super eating powers where he eats everything on the screen, super giant weapons, and now he teams up with friends. Like, I don't really know much more gimmicks they could do that are all that engaging. There were a lot of people who did say and sort of complain that uh, they think that uh, Star Allies was a fun game, but the whole gimmick of adding friends and stuff wasn't really as well explored as it could have been. There were a lot of puzzles, but they were all very, very easily solvable and didn't have a lot of depth to them. And I can sort of see what you mean. I mean, I appreciated the game being as easy as it was. For me, that's just sort of nice and relaxing. But uh, I think this game was very good. But I do definitely see how people might be a bit concerned that uh, the formula for Kirby is sort of getting a little, uh, Rinse and repeat, I guess? Oh, nice, we got our health upgrade here, so we're all level three with this stuff, that's good. It would be interesting to see a bit of a mix-up when it comes to the next Kirby game. If it's a 3D Kirby game, that'd be cool, but at the same time, it might be a bit confusing, because we haven't really had too much of an example of what a Kirby game would be like in a 3D space. Like, we had Kirby 64, but that wasn't really a 3D Kirby game, because you, you were still on like a fixed 2D perspective for most of it and you couldn't move in and out on the Z axis, I guess. It's a good way of putting it. Uh, 
But overall, it was still a very great game, and they could continue with that kind of stuff, but that, I mean, I don't know if it would be all that much different, you know? Let's go through here. But uh, if they did a full on 3D Kirby game, we haven't really seen that too much. The closest thing we've gotten is Kirby's Blowout Blast, but that really, in essence, wasn't very much Kirby-like because there was no um, abilities, no copy abilities in Kirby's Blowout Blast. You can only, the only enemies were non-copy ability kind of foes. So I'll give a little bit of a feel about what a, third, a 3D Kirby game can be like. It didn't really you know, answer too many questions I think fans had about it. Uh, and maybe it just wouldn't be very good. Maybe Kirby is one of those games that uh, it just doesn't work very well in the third dimension. I can see that being a thing. I don't know if they've ever given it like a strong try. Or maybe they could do a, what is that game called? Kirby's uh, Golf? <laughs> maybe they just go Kirby's Golf too. That'd be great. I mean, who knows? But uh, I just really don't know what they would do for the next mainline Kirby game. Maybe they'll do Kirby's Return to Dreamland 2 again, but the third time. So I guess it would be Kirby's Ret Return to Dreamland yeah, two. That'd be weird though. That wouldn't make too much sense. <laughs> That's why it's funny. Okay, so we're gonna face a boss here. What is this boss fight gonna be? I can't remember. Oh, it's uh, Francisca. So I was right, you do face all the sisters. Come on, Tim, come on. Oh geez, I totally lost myself there. I'll be honest. Oh, get her again. I mean, it is ice versus ice for me, so it isn't super effective. Oh boy. Oh, you have your ice gun though, which actually shouldn't be too bad to deal with. But yeah, I'm definitely not doing as much damage to her as I'd like. But yeah, I'm like freezing all of her ice, which is, or her, all of her water, which is good. Come on, get her. Everybody, don't let her beat you up. Yeah, we got her. Okay, not bad. Goodbye. And we never heard from her again. Really, we don't see her in the rest of the uh, story mode. Once you beat the sisters in this world, they just sort of disappeared. Okay, so there's that done. And we'll go up here. I remember this this level sort of gave me a hard time at, at some parts. There are those little hidden blocks in the corner like that that we have to be wary of. But overall, I think the secret shouldn't be too bad. I actually can't do anything about you. Maybe I should have uh, befriended this dude by the chance. Let's put him over Chili. And then we'll get the uh, flame sword if I can. Or maybe he's just not interested in giving it to me. Thanks. Totally not on my team for some reason. Come on, give me the fire sword. Fire sword, please. Yeah, that's it. You figured it out. <laughs> Got it, I see this little hidden piece right here. Nothing crazy, just some extra hearts. But this dude gets to go down because of it. Boom. But I feel like one of them had a puzzle piece, so I'm trying to be aware and careful of that, of where these um, puzzle pieces might be hiding. Got it. And then we got Mr. Frosty over here, which with our sword power, Hopefully we'll be good. I'm not really sure if the elemental ability of the power actually does affect things in that way, where the fire ones will affect the uh, ice enemies more. Well, that seems to be the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him, put him over uh, Burning Leo now that we've gotten the thing, we've gotten the Burning Sword, because I do know that not only do we have like a, mis a mixed match of enemies here, but uh, there is the ice waterfall thing we have to do in this level. That was sort of the thing that tripped me up. I thought that we needed Parasol Kirby for one reason or another. Not actually the case. But uh, for now, oh yeah, we had the squishing platform problem. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Everybody hide up here. Be extra careful. Uh, and then we have this one. Oh boy. Uh, I want to go over to the one with the heart, of course, but I just don't want any of my teammates getting taken out, so everybody hide near me. Okay, there should be one more, I think. We can do it. We can do it. It's just up here. That's actually quite easy. Uh, well, that sort of fooled me. Oh, I was able to make it. <laughs> We're good. I mean, it would be cool if they brought, I mean, yeah, Kirby's Air Ride to the Switch, because that's sort of something I haven't tried, is Kirby's Air Ride. I mean, I, f I would hope that if they were to just to bring Kirby's Air Ride to the Switch, it would be because they're bringing GameCube games to the Switch in general. We gotta get up there. Come on, guys, come on, guys. You got it, you got it. Awesome, I knew you could. But yeah, there's still plenty of possibilities for Kirby. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to like suggest that, like, oh, Kirby's done. Nobody cares about Kirby anymore. Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, over that way. I forget that every time it scares me. All right, we did it. We did it, guys. We're almost at max speed. Were we level three for the other two things? I think so, yep. Hiya. Go through you. But there is a parasol Kirby here. We don't need it because we can just freeze the waterfalls, but good to keep in mind. Hmm. 
Or maybe they won't even give us the, the, the waterfall section. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe not, because I feel like this part was after that. Hmm, we're gonna find out in a moment. Can you help us out there? Thank you. And then, let's get rid of you, because we got ourselves a health upgrade, hooray! Yeah, it's looking like, I don't think they would put it there. If there was gonna be that other section, they would have just given us that. Which means we should be facing off with Krakow soon. Don't know how I'm looking forward to that. That might be a little difficult. We've already hit the checkpoint for this level, right? This world? I think so. Ooh, get rid of all these dudes. Hopefully this gives us a good prize for this. I, I'm a little surprised we've only found the Friend Scepter once so far. Like, I don't understand what was the point of giving it to us just once. I mean, maybe I've missed out on it like every time since then. I don't know if that's the case. But maybe it is. And I'm just really bad at finding secrets. Wait, that extra little heart there. Okay, we did it, we did it. It didn't give us anything. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, we got more to do. More to deal with. A little less room to do it. These guys aren't a problem. Destroy them like crazy. Only problem here is that they, you can't destroy these guys right away. Into the spikes you go. What a horrible fate. And there's more, it just never ends. Oh boy, get him. I'm getting a little better with the sword ability by doing all this though, which is great. It does give you really good practice for one specific ability, ow. Oh boy, <laughs> he's trying to win a waddle away. That ain't happening, dude. But that is cool if you are looking for practice for one specific, specific, specific ability. Uh, this helps out a lot because you can just sort of try the different combos. Ooh. Cause like if you charge up, but then you also hold up, you do sort of do a spinning upwards kind of thing, which can be helpful. Okay, so there's that done, and we're falling down here. Oh, look at that, so we do get plus one on everything there, which means we are just looking for one more damage upgrade, which will be just fine for me. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. So we defeated only one of the sisters so far. We need to do Krakow, one of the sisters, and then uh, the third sister, and then the final boss, but the final boss might be, well, Lord Highness should be here, and then in world five, or level five, should be the final, final boss. What are we gonna find here? This will probably be our damage upgrade then. So we'll have Max Dell here for longer than we'd normally do, I'd imagine. Okay, so uh, I remember this. We gotta be quick, quick, quick. Run, run, run. Oh, plop down here, just like that, and then wah. Keep going, keep going. Can't give up just yet. Wah. So far, so good, and then we got him. We can, we really beat him out here. Ah! Give me that, and we gotta go this way. Just like that, and there's our damage upgrade. I'm gonna ignore that dude, because he's not gonna be too helpful to me, I don't think. I don't think we can even recruit him. So we're all maxed out. We shouldn't have to worry about too many secrets. I mean, I'll gladly grab some if they give me some puzzle pieces, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Because we're about to face Krako. I'll dodge all of this, dodge all of these guys so that hopefully our teammates don't take too much damage. I uh, would get a little bit, hey, that, that put me over the edge for an extra life. That's good. Hmm, and here he is. The man, Krako. Cyclo Cycloptic storm cloud. It's just, there's, there's always gotta be Krako. I just find it so funny, it's like, it was, wow, that was easy. I was like, starting to think like, hey, maybe there's just no Krako in this game. And then boom, hey, it's just Krako. And it's just like on a completely different planet than you're used to seeing Krako, right? I mean, the Kirby universe is very interplanetary. Kirby's leaving the planet all the time, so it was like most of his enemies. Surprised we haven't seen a super Kirby galaxy. Uh, man, we are doing some good numbers on these guys though, so far. Um, it can be a little bit difficult, uh, especially when that doesn't really reach very well. Okay, come on, boom. Then we're gonna charge and do our upward slash. It didn't really do too much. There we go, we got rid of him. Wow, that was easy. Compared to how I normally did against this boss, that was great. Oh boy, looked a little mad there for a moment. Hooray! Clear! 26 minutes, wait, was that really it? Hold on, I guess the rest of it's in level five. And we finished it! Yes, we got the return to the Dreamland one. That one's so cool! Fight for the crown. Crown? Oh yeah, that's right, because it was about the crown. You finished four celebration pictures, see all the pictures in the picture gallery. And we got 15 more, or 16, 17, something like that. Um, wow, we are really worked in towards it, which means we have one more, which does cover a lot. That one's really long comparatively. Uh, you can start from here next time. Great, because we're gonna keep rolling. 
This is gonna be one long level or episode, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun with it, so, though, so hopefully you guys are too. We're back down to not having any upgrades, but I guess this last level will be a little bit longer than anticipated, and that's fine. Uh, maybe I should have recruited water ability, but at the same time, as long as we have frozen, we should be good. Luckily, like the abilities you need isn't too uh, specific. I was gonna run past all of this, I should be good. I don't think they hold any secrets. I sure hope not. Or I'm gonna feel real silly. Uh, Cause usually the rocks themselves don't hold secrets, but they will break floor open like that, and that'll give you a secret. You know what, let's have a rock ability front. We haven't gotten that before, like in a while, but we do already, oh well, now I, that's what you can't do. If you do that, then you're sort of like signing up for your own issues. Cause now I just missed out on the Vitrian, which is not the character I wanted to miss out on. Okay. We are really low on health with bonkers, so, so maybe I should have just went ahead and dealt with that. So here we just need to survive for a moment, just like that, and we'll get the puzzle piece. Nothing crazy, but we'll be getting those upgrades soon, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I guess I wanted to space it out this way so that you could actually re-earn all of the upgrades for this last little bit, but this is the last one, so no matter what, it's gonna be difficult. But yeah, it just sort of breaks it up in a different way than the actual story mode does, because technically this is still only like, Two thirds of the way through level four. Oh no, there goes Bonkers, I think. Yep, okay, so I'll have to find somebody I can actually help. Or I can just go ahead and get Bonkers again in a moment if you guys could just leave me alone. There we go. Oh my, wait, what? What? I didn't mean to do that. No, no, stop. That's not what I meant to do. Here, you're my friend. Ow. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is not good timing. Help, 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 help. All my friends are beat up. This is bad, this is really bad. Oh, come on, let's end this dude. Me and you, Rocky. Rocky does not have an original name, but that's okay, I love him all the same. Oh, he's throwing dishware. Whenever they throw dishware, it's game over. So I'm not gonna have many friends with this one. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Unless it starts being, is this at the beginning? No, no, it's when we went through the door. Okay, so we're about to face it again. And, sure, Parasol Waddle Dee. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and just do what we can then. I mean, this is an okay team. Not really what I was enjoying before, but I'll make it work. I mean, I'm already getting really beat up again. I just, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit difficult. Maybe we take more damage now, and that's why we need the upgrade so badly, of course. Oh. I mean, we do have less health than, you know, normal. Because full health is, ow what you'd normally have, I think, or maybe like slightly more. Come on, come on, come on. Can we please hit him? Just like, oh no, he's flying away again. You get back here, you fiend! Oh, I'm low on health again. Come on, get him, thank you. You're gonna be our friend, and we're gonna put you over Rocky, because Rocky's low on health anyways. And then quickly, quickly, turn them all in the food so we can heal up. Good. So that should be, hopefully, everybody back to full health. I really just want a health upgrade right away then, because it's just we're so low on health, it really isn't much. There we go, that's a lot of stuff. Everybody should, yep, be back to full. So I'm gonna go on through, and hopefully we didn't miss any secrets. I don't think there was anything to the right. So we should be good. Uh, get rid of this dude. I don't need him. I feel, like if I, was about, if, I feel like if I was gonna do this playthrough again, I mean, I don't know if I would do that on camera, just because it wouldn't be too interesting, but, uh. And then wouldn't it be like the DLC characters or like Meta Knight or anything, it would probably be the staff. Oh, there it is, quickly, get it. Before we get destroyed, ow. Okay, so it was before I got healed, so that's good. All right, get up here, get up here. And we still took a bit of damage, but not as much as it could have been. And let this destroy that, and we're good. Get the heck out of here. So we finally got our first upgrade. It was the health upgrade I was looking for, which is nice. Uh, you know what, I'll take you, sure. I don't have any kind of sword upgrade, which is probably setting me back as well. So we'll get rid of Spider, because Spider has not been helpful whatsoever this uh, playthrough. They don't actually have any like Spider-specific things you need to get. I mean, Spider itself is pretty cool, but I wouldn't suggest playing through this with an ability you can't upgrade, right? Or being able to upgrade other people's abilities, because I feel like that'd just be really difficult. I know one of these has a secret that I'm trying to be aware of, right there. So get up here, hit that button, keep moving, but then slam down on the on the barrel, and this should give us hopefully another upgrade. Hoping for speed. We'll see. Grab the key. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it's scary. 
The meteors there are fallen. Times there are changing. There was ground here before, there is no longer. So we have to be very careful. Go down here. Luckily you can just sort of follow the hearts. This sort of gets where you need to go. Okay, one last one. Oh, it's gigantic. Ah, be careful, pop. Got it. So that's gonna be damage upgrade, better than nothing. And then we're gonna put you over Chef Kawasaki, I think. Chef Kawasaki's a little low on health anyway, so it'll work out. Okay, so what do we got now? Um, first off, these hearts. Thought we picked these up, but maybe they respawn for some reason? Huh, odd. Okay, not gonna bother. But I feel so slow now. Like, normal speed is like unbearably slow. I really need to get that max upgrade soon. This really shouldn't take too long. I mean, it would probably take about a half an hour, including everything. Because uh, that level four took 26 minutes, so it makes sense if it's only ramp ramp ramped up in time. And we're gonna get rid of you. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have, ah, too late now. I think we'll be okay with what we have. We're about to, of course, face a boss fight. I think this will be, not Francisca, the other one, the fire one. I just don't remember her name. How long? It is Flamberge. Ah, uh, yes. Whoa. Okay, forgot how quick she moves. I wish we had a nice ability guy with us, but we don't. So I gotta be careful. Oh boy, probably shouldn't have done that. I got hit right in the face. Whoa, man, she's tough. This is way more difficult than your sisters. Ow. Oh gosh, we need more upgrades. This is actually getting real difficult now. Come on, I just gotta play it safe. That's all I gotta do. If I play it safe, we'll be fine, and I'm not playing it very safe. Oh gosh, I forgot, yep, she's gonna do that. I had to get over there real quick then. Oh, okay, somebody got her. Slam down on her. No, wait, how did that get me? She's knocked down. That doesn't make any sense. What? All right, let's try this again. Beat her up. I'm gonna try to stay away from her though, as much as I possibly can, cause she'll do this. A little parry move, basically, and she'll jump around. Where's she going now? Oh yeah, she's gonna shoot all the fireballs of doom. I don't appreciate it. And I took a little damage here unnecessarily again. That's just what I do. Oh boy. Boom. Ow, that still caught me up in it. I didn't realize that was gonna happen that way. Uh, can somebody combo up uh, some actual stuff? Can you give me electric power or will you just stare at me the entire time? Get her, get her quickly. Uh, that helped, that helped. But uh, there we go, see? I guess if you're still like right on top of her, it'll do too much damage or it'll just do damage to you when you're right on top of her. See ya, you jerk, that was way easier. Luckily with uh, Vidri here giving you uh, extra health, that can be nice, that can be nice. All right, so we're just gonna keep moving, non-stop action all the time, swim, swim, swim. Uh, get rid of that crab. I don't even wanna see him. I don't even wanna deal with him. See, I'm pretty, I, I remember this level a fair amount. Pretty sure that we'll be able to make our way through quite easily. But uh, we'll find out. I don't care about the one heart. We'll be fine without it. And then get rid of you. Yeah, we're like way ahead of the wall right now. Oh, I say that, but it's starting to catch up. Starting to catch up. Is there anything down here? I don't think there is. So move it up, move it up quickly, quickly. Keep swimming, Swordmaster, Blade Knight. Show them that the power of a sword wielder is the most powerful thing you can have. Okay, so uh, do that, and then get rid of this dude. Oh, I love those kind of combos, they're fun. And this should be a mini boss right here, right? Double mini boss? I think, yeah, Twin Kawasaki. Oh boy. Oh man. And it has this like happy music as you get beat up by flying dishware. Come on, get rid of this dude. Ooh. Damage jump, get rid of his brother. Keep moving, ow, you can still get hit by his taken down body, I don't like that. Because I'm just trying to move around it, I would love to, but he's in the way. Oh boy, should we get that health from Mr. Kawasaki? I mean, it might be worth my while to, I don't even know where I am at the moment. I'm gonna put him over uh, Parasol Waddle D. We've had him for a little while, I don't think it's necessary to keep him around. Doesn't look like there's anything under the platform there. So we can move this way, press the big button, and it spawns in a bunch of stuff, including a damage upgrade. Nice, so we're level two damage, level one health, and no speed. Man, oh man, there we go. Took you long enough, chef, but I guess this is why. Um, gave us no health upgrade, uh, because we have chef to give us a bunch of health. Thank you. I didn't actually need this much, but it might be helpful. Heal up everybody else. There we go, we're good to go. I do not see it, but the speed upgrade is the best. You know, you just get this thrown through everything super duper quick. But I don't get that right now. 
But yeah, there's a mini boss done. We've destroyed two out of the three sisters. And the final sister, of course, is in the final final area. So once we get to the third sister, it'll just be like non-stop boss fights at that point. So hopefully we have everything we need once we get there. And we'll have maxed out everything. So really, like what more boss fights do I have? I mean, we never went against the egg lady boss fight. And there's a speed upgrade, quite an easy one actually. I mean, maybe we still will. Maybe they jumbled up the order a tiny bit, but I don't think that's the case. I think that we just won't be going against the egg lady. All right, get up here. Well, I think the egg lady boss, but the thing with that is that you had to be like in the star power, I think, you know, like when everybody's riding a star. Oh, I remember this. This should squish you, right? Oh, well, yes, it did. Awesome. Okay, try to squish you as well. No, okay, that's fine. We can just take him out normally. Boom, get him, get him, get him. Got him. <laughs> okay, so should we get you? Why not? Put you over him. Uh, Chef Kawasaki. Everybody's pretty beat up right now, to be honest. Now we can get this one as well. Everybody survived, so we can make it work. And there is, hopefully, yep, there's a speed upgrade up there. Beautiful, two speed upgrades in a row, so now we're level 212. Now I can actually use the health upgrade. Go to the door. Okay. What do we got? Not a whole bunch of much right now. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one like it switches everything out, so you gotta be super careful and try not to get squished. Move up here. It is great to jump from being le like level zero with speed for so long, and then finally they go, oh, okay, we'll give you level one. And then they're like, oh hey, level two. And now we move so much quicker. It's way more appreciated. I'm sure we're coming up on the end of everything then. Like, I mean, if it just starts showering us up in upgrades, it'd be great. Because I remember these levels getting like really close to the end. Oh, go through and I think, yep, got it. It tries to trick you, but you can't trick me that easy. Or you probably can actually. Shouldn't say that so soon, before I get tricked. Get this health, move over here. I think we're about to reach the end of it. And then right here. Ooh. There's some extra, got it, another one up. Nobody gets squished. Jeez Louise, it, just, it never ends. It never ever ends. Oh, get back up. <laughs> we weren't even supposed to go down. Where is the ending of this? I don't know. Was there something we were supposed to do? I can't remember. Oh, ooh, get that stuff for sure. Thank you, I missed out on a green heart. There we go, we did it. Ay, ay, ay. Never ends. I definitely think we're getting more uh, puzzle pieces this way than we would normally do, though, which is great. Oh gosh, the lava falls here. Oh, I don't like it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Just charge through everything. Wah! Just like that, every single time. Oh yeah, and the stinking key. I remember this being totally bogus. I died a couple times with this. So just keep moving, keep moving. Jump in the air, thank you. Keep going up this. Yeah, we made it, all right. So that's only two puzzle pieces, but totally worth getting. And we're not done yet. We're gonna keep moving, keep running. Destroy you dudes. Yeah, we have the power of electricity, so you aren't a big problem. I don't know where the Howl room is in this game, because usually they have that, right? Usually in each Howl Devetta, H-A-L stands for Howl. Uh, yeah, that's like the people who develop Kirby. Uh, usually they uh, hide a room that spells just Howl. So I don't know where that is. The Howl Laboratories make some pretty cool games. I know they just made, no, we missed out on a friend here. Save you, revive, quickly. Uh, be careful, did I not revive you there? Weird. But um. They made actually a new mobile game that looks like, if you saw it, you're like, yeah, that looks like a Kirby game. It's this little UFO, and basically, I think he's just sort of like a tow truck, but he's he looks just like the UFO from Kirby games, which was not in this game, which is totally stinky, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? I begged for a new Kirby game, we got one. I can't cry when there's not one specific ability I want. Ooh. But a lot of you, oh gosh, we got taken out there. A lot of you like a very fair amount of uh, Kirby abilities. Like a lot of you were very variety with that. Uh, when I asked that in previous episodes, a lot of you answered, and there was not like one consistent answer I noticed. It seemed like a lot of people like a variety of things, which is really cool. It shows you that uh, Kirby has a good balance of all that kind of stuff. Okay, charge with these dudes. Go back over here. You're going down as well. Oh, she painted Meta Knight there, that was cool. Gotcha. All right, can somebody give me an ability? I mean, all we have is electricity right now. We probably should give it to everybody we can give it to because it does give damage up, you know, as far as I understand, and that's gonna be helpful. So we've broken 50 lives. I don't think we're gonna quite get to 100 like I said I wanted at the beginning of all this, but uh, 
At the same time, this actually ended up being way longer than I ever would have expected. It's crazy. Come on, come on. Ah. And then, ow. I didn't jump up as high as I was expecting there. Come on, where even am I? Oh, I lose myself so easy. There we go, we got taken down. Sort of deserves it. Get him out of here. I don't think anybody wants to be that, so we're just trying to avoid the fireballs of doom. And we get, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> I guess we missed out on that. But hey, we got Favidia again. Ouch, leave me alone, you big jerk. Ah. Slam yet, that was good. Nice, okay. So we should be good here. Nobody stand in the lava, please. And then try to get rid of her, because we already have a Vidria. The Vidria that's at full health. Ow, stop. Okay, we have two of them now. Well, maybe one of them can heal me. That'd be great. We'll worry about that on the other side. We got an extra health upgrade though, so we're good. Get these as well. Thank you. And then keep moving this way. So we're level two across the board, which is pretty exciting. But yeah, what else is there to do? Um, whoa, whoa. Got a little scared there, gotta be honest. This is quite intense. So we gotta destroy, I don't know if this was a normal level or not. I don't remember this one at all. But it only falls once you defeat all the enemies, so you gotta be quick with this. Got him. Yeah, I really, really don't remember this. So maybe this is new. That'd be pretty cool. They just start adding new stuff towards the end. But maybe this was something they did, and I'm just totally forgetting it. But we're in King Dedede's castle, which wouldn't make any sense. Because we're, we're not even on planet Popstar anymore. Unless he has just multiple uh, planets across the galaxy. Maybe he does. Or not, not multiple planets, but multiple castles on multiple planets across the galaxy. I can be totally true. Maybe he is like Darth Vader of the Kirby series. <laughs> That'd be really funny. All right, let's charge up and then go for it. I got a couple of them. Not too much, though. Charge for you. That was a little bit better. Well, actually, no, I don't even know what went on there. It seemed like uh, Bugsy slammed me down and was throwing me around. So I didn't do any attacks that I thought I was doing there. Oh, there we go. Get more upgrades. So there is a speed and a damage upgrade. They're probably gonna give us a health upgrade towards the end of all this, I would hope. Wait, was that it? Oh no, that was a checkpoint. I totally forgot we haven't gotten the checkpoint. Yeah, I guess we haven't. That was last time. Man, I got that confused. That's been a pretty quick 14 minutes now that I think about it. Ready, go. Oh, so we're in space. We're gonna go against the boss. Wait, no, this is the special. Yeah, this is the special final level. Huh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, weird. Are we not gonna go against the final boss? Oh, wait, now it is. It just wanted to give me a little heart. I don't remember. No, this is a special extra final level that we did a video on. I guess we're technically doing a video on it again then. That is really weird. They're doing this before the final boss section? Okay, if you want. Well, I'm gonna get through it as fast as I possibly can because we really know the contents of this already. All I wanna do is get all of the uh, secrets along the way, which I remember there not being too many. If we could, of course, get our last couple of upgrades, that'd be nice. And then just go on the face of final boss. They probably did this to pad out the length so that you could keep getting upgrades in a not so congested way. Like, okay, here's like five upgrades right away. But now that we know how to these, these, do these, they're quite easy. Like one of them was just pressing buttons a lot. That's not quite this one. That was a little bit farther on. Ow, that hurt. That double hurt. Okay, so I'll try to get this guy while he's not looking. That worked out pretty well. So now they gotta go press a button. So there's nothing I can control. Thanks, guys. Don't get hit by that, please. Oh, they did not, good. Keep going, keep going, charge with this stuff, and go through the door. I don't think we missed anything, but you never know until it's too late, right? Okay. But this level wasn't too long, it was just sort of a little bit interesting, you had to sort of experiment a little bit. There were some of these that were quite puzzle-like. It did sort of skip out on a lot of the ones I would consider that were more puzzle-like, though, in this sort of, uh, whatever it's called, star friends go, star allies go. All right, we destroyed them, that was great. I'm actually gonna go ahead and heart one of them, put them over Vividria, that is such a hard name to pronounce. Ah, keep moving, keep moving. We're so quick and speedy, we can't let anything slow us down. And also being able to complete the levels with the speed upgrade does make it easier. Oh, we're all here now. Is this part of the secret level? I don't I don't think so. Is this gonna be rolling? Ooh, either that or the friend train. Friend train it is! I love the abundance of the friend train. This is a lot of fun. 
Oh, hey, friend train! We're doing it with a bunch of mini bosses too, which is great. Woohoo! All right, running on the water. Jump! Gotcha. Keep moving, keep moving. Whoa. Uh, whoa, that was a little confusing. I don't know if this is one that's in the main game either. I love the added train levels, though. They're a lot of fun. That is so confusing. I mean, there's really not anything I'm controlling there. That's just the game doing it itself. Yeah, this is definitely not something we've done in the past. Oh, it's so cool. Whoop. Okay. And then jump or not. Okay, maybe I did that wrong. I guess you can't jump when you're running up walls. Weird. I guess that makes sense. Uh, now we're in the ice. Maybe we. Maybe this was something that was in the secret level. I can't remember. Well, secret level or not, I'm having fun with it now. Oh, we press that button. I can jump on this platform. Did I do that correctly? Was there something done there that was different? Uh, I have no clue. Anyways, there should probably be a, a button down here, so I can go into here and then press this button somehow. How do I press that button? How do I? Yeah, I don't know. I guess like this. Ah, that makes sense. What did that do though? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, here we go. Extra stuff. I will take it. So yeah, I might have missed out on some secrets. I really just hope I didn't miss out on any upgrades, but I could have. I don't really know. Hmm. Go through the burning dudes. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, be careful. Oh. Oh, geez. Be careful. Keep moving, dude. Oh, gosh. Man, the platforms are falling. It makes it both disorienting and just scary and confusing. Was I supposed to jump up there? I think I was. Uh, well, no, I guess it was the same thing. Good, because that one, like, the arrow pointed me down. I wanted to follow it. I guess you do get extra stuff for following the arrow then. Oh, look at all that. All those hearts. Give them to me. No upgrades, though. Did I do everything correctly? I mean, I guess we're not quite done. Oh, what's going to be in the chest? Oh, if this is like one of those plus one for everything. It will be. Yep. So we're still missing a health upgrade. Hopefully we can find it soon. Well, actually we're missing health upgrade and then some, because we still need plus one for each one to get the max at the least. Oh, this is scary. See, so yeah, this is the final level of world four before the final boss. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit intimidating. But they would It's weird that they would do it that way, but I guess it sort of kind of makes sense. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can get that heart. We have 60 lives. I don't know why I'm still obsessing over getting as many as possible. It's just so satisfying. You can't deny that part. How satisfying it is. It's wonderful. I'm ho I'm glad that we haven't died many times compared to how many lives we've gotten. That's for sure. This level was a bit of a challenge, I remember. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. I do have full health for right now, so I do have the little blast, and I would like to keep it for as long as possible. So let's try to uh, play well, shall we? Got it. And then, uh. Get rid of you, or not. <laughs> I tried, but I did not succeed. Hmm. Gotcha. Oh, oh, well, he's cooking them all up. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Not the most helpful thing, because everybody has mostly full health, but that's a lot of enemies I just don't have to deal with. I love how it's just like, oh, there's a lot of enemies here. Let me just do this set. He just sort of sees it coming, and he just doesn't. All right. What I don't like is there's not really a way to tell him to do it. He just sort of has to know. But that's okay. Can I heal any of you guys? No. This has been quite a long episode. I don't know if this is gonna end up being longer than the World 4 episode at this rate. But I've been having a lot of fun with it. I would love to hear your thoughts in this mini game. Or just like the after game content in general. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna fall into my doom because the longer I take with all this, you know, the longer and more unnecessary it is. Okay. I did take some damage so I don't have my little blast thing anymore. That's fine. They're making it quite easy. All these enemies sort of move towards you. Okay. Yeah, I think this is very cool. Quite a long episode, which, you know, I do what I can about. All right, everybody teams up. It's gonna be the friendship wheel of awesomeness, right? Yeah, friend circle. Okay, so let's move through all this. Nice. And uh, jump. Nice, we're doing pretty good right now. Got it. Try to get that one as well. Jump again. Got a puzzle piece. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, so we're doing pretty good so far. I'm happy with all this. Uh, press that button. Press that one. Press this one. Got it. So yeah, we, we, we've we done this friend circle before in the main story. And there's our extra health upgrade. 
I will gladly take it. Or maybe Vividria can, or she cannot. So, if, so we're either looking for one upgrade for each thing again, or maybe a plus one for all another time. I don't know if that would actually happen or not, but we're gonna find out. I don't think I need any of these guys. We're moving so quick now, it's great. Oh, we have another friend circle, maybe. Uh, or maybe another friend train. Uh, no, it's a friend circle. I was like, wait a minute, what's happening? Friend circle is this. So we're just rolling through. Now, I don't know if this part's new or not. Hard to remember. But it really is the final stretch until we're done with all this. Because after this, we just have all the boss fights. But this one's by far the largest and the longest. Ooh, got the puzzle piece. Nice, nice, nice. Ready, jump, jump, jump. Get that one, and this one, and that one, and this one. Okay, good, good, good. And a treasure chest, what's gonna be in there? Oh, and another one. So this has, we run over to it, a damage upgrade, and then over here, the speed upgrade. So we're maxed out on both those things, we just need one more health upgrade. I sure hope I didn't miss it. Checkpoint again, so there were multiple checkpoints in this one. Makes sense, because it's very long and challenging. Hmm. Ready, go. All right, time's on the clock as we rush on over to what may be the final little bit of it. I mean, the final boss and stuff, don't squish me, please. I do not want to get taken out on something so simple. But uh, the final boss and stuff took like 15, 20 minutes in total. It wasn't super duper crazy compared to everything else at the least. I mean, the boss fights itself were very crazy, but like the time it take, takes to complete it wasn't very crazy. Just get rid of you and then finally go on through. All right, we're coming up on it all. I guess maybe we, unless we get the health upgrade here and we might have ended up missing it somewhere along the way, which is a shame, but what can you do? Right, what can you do? It's already too late. I ain't gonna redo this whole thing, I can tell you that much. All right, gotta be careful. Oh, no, team, no, come on! I thought it was gonna stop. Ugh, I didn't mean to do that. See, that wasn't even difficult to make my way through. I'm just a dingus. Actually, I need one of you guys. Probably should have Spark Pug instead of Sir Kibble, but you know what, I'm gonna put you over Chef, Chef, Chef Kawasaki, not Chef. Uh. And there is, oh, this is where we're gonna get it, I hope. I just need to actually get over there without getting taken out. So embarrassing that I actually got taken out that like, oh, there was no reason for that. Okay, so what do we gotta do here? And I can pick up the key, go all the way down here. I don't remember this one too well. Oh no, I do remember this one pretty well, because I need to jump, not now. No, no, no. Oh gosh, I could have died there. That wouldn't have been good. No wait, I'm still almost dead. <laughs> okay, be careful, be careful. I have to try it again, unfortunately. But that's fine, just go through the door. Tried an additional time, I jumped way too early. Uh, yeah, I remember messing up on that the first time I tried it in the main thing, too. Or do you think I'd do better this time, but no. Got it. Slide on down here as fast as I can, and we're gonna go. Okay, you ready for this? Are you ready for this, team? Go, yeah, you just gotta wait for everything to show up and then jump that same moment. So everything is maxed out. We are good for whatever boss fight or battle might be coming our way, which is great because there's gonna be a lot of that coming our way. Move it, move it, guys. Yeah, the essence of time, I guess is not on our side, seeing how we have to, uh, you know. All right, that's an electric thing. Everybody's so excited about it, wahoo. All right, go now, and then go through the door before anybody gets squished. Right before we're, we're going into some intense battles. Man, when is it gonna happen? I felt like a, no, yeah, it's at the top of this, right? I'm like, oh, it's gonna be this next door, and then it's not. Oh, hey, it actually gave us food for once. Cool. And we didn't need it, but thanks. Oh boy, here we are, we're up in the stars, the sky. We have all the upgrades we need. We have plenty of different abilities we could take if we wanted to. Oh, hard to say. Uh. You know what, I think I will take Vividria over Bugsy. And we'll see how that works out. Going against a ton of bosses now, a ton of them. I'm excited for it. All right, see ya, boom. We're just gonna go for you whatever way I can. Oh boy, charge. All right. So, so far we're doing good against uh, Zan Partizan, but this looks so cool. I love her look. Oh boy. She's almost down already. 
If we do this, and then boom, that hurt her. Where am I? Oh gosh, I totally lost myself there and I went into the beam, I think. Ouch. Come on, I know she's already super low, so if we could. Oh gosh, where am I? Oh, we got her, good job team. I was the only one who took any damage. And then there's this dude. Luckily, they sort of skip most of the cutscenes. I think he's just gonna go right in the fighting. Looks like it. Oh, he doesn't even kick uh, Zen part of Zen out of the way. All right, dude. You wanna go? Let's go. Oh, boy. Come on, come on. We don't even need Kirby to beat you guys up. They don't give us any exposition because there's no Kirby. That's that's why there's no cutscene. Because usually they refer to him as like, oh, you pink puffball. There is no pink puffball. Kirby's not even here. Come on. Oh, that was pretty good. Now you're all spooky. Oh boy, he's dancing, he's dancing. All right. Hmm. Let's do what we can about this then. I mean, I probably should be a little bit more careful. I've been sort of getting damaged a little too often. It would be great if I could find, you know, a point in time where I could get Vividria to ow, heal or make some food. Come on, thank you, thank you. Oh, we gotta be really careful. This part's tough, this part's really tough. So please pick up some food now. That was actually a lot of healing, so that's great. Um, okay, that didn't really do too much damage, and we just need to dodge them. Now is not really a time to try to attack them, it's just a time to try to survive for as long as possible. They move around in like all sorts of way. But it's cool because that means they also use the power of friendship in one way or another, you know? Not in a way I would prefer, because they're not very friendly to us, but I guess, you know, that's all a matter of perspective. Come on, get them now. Oh boy, where am I? I'm right here. Yeah, we finished him off. Cool. Come on. Show us what you got. Cause now, oh it is healing us all, which is good. Cause now we have the uh, shooter fight. If we have that, or maybe it ends here. I really don't know if it does all the final boss stuff. Oh man, that was quite a battle. Yeah, we have more. Or not. Oh hey, there's the credits. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> it's. I think it's the fool's credits cause it's moving really quick. I would imagine. Uh huh. This is weird. Uh, oh no, go back, go back, go back, rewind. So what's gonna happen now? We're just gonna go in and face this boss, right? I guess so? Uh, whoa, wait, wait, what? Whoa, what in the world? Whoa, who are you? You're like a weird looking Meta Knight. You are Galacta Knight, Temporal Warrior. Whoa, you are so cool. And oh, a butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Uh, what, what? What's happening? It's an evil butterfly. It disintegrated him. Um, what's going on? Oh my gosh! It's no, no. It turned. What is happening? <laughs> it's Morpho Knight reborn butterfly. Holy cow! He's cool, but he's evil. He's attacking us. Why can't you be on our team? You're really cool. I've never seen this dude before. I guess this is a boss that you can just get for being, beating this. That is so cool. So there is a secret boss towards the end of this. Awesome. Okay, so so far we're doing a good number to him, but he's charging up. He has two awesome butterfly swords now. Fire butterfly is really cool. Oh gosh, he basically has a return to dreamland move. Where he gets a giant sword. Okay, we gotta move over there real quick. Luckily we have super speed. I still got hit actually. Come on. All right, I got that. Lightning strike and all. Okay, slam down on him. Keep moving. Do as much as I can. Ooh, ooh, we countered his attack there. We are destroying him so far. There might be more than one phase though. I gotta be ready for that. Got him, okay. Did we defeat the Morpho Knight? Can, I, can you be my friend? Can I throw a heart at you? Uh-huh. Ooh. Whoa, he's exploding. I'm sorry, you seemed like a nice guy at heart. Well, he's gone. Was that it? Did we beat it? We did! A total of one hour, 43 minutes, and 51 seconds, and our best time was one hour, 43 minutes, 51 seconds, okay. We did it! With 23 puzzle pieces found in that last level. Man, oh man, it took us a while. This has been a long, long episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Dream Friends lead. Dream Friends will now appear in the friend selection. The Dream Friends adventure has just begun. What does that mean? Is there more you can do here? I don't know. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. So yeah, I don't know if that means if you beat it again with your little friends, you get something. There is a bit of a credits. Guest star, Blade Knight, staying sharp. 
Very, very cool. So we'll go ahead and beat some stuff up, but I think that's where we'll probably wrap it up for today's episode. Um, that was a lot of fun, it was super intense and a lot of stuff went on there, but I enjoyed it. It was very cool to have something a little bit different. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on that for sure. But um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. If anything more cool happens or if we lock anything, I'll let you know. But I think we are all done for today's episode of Kirby Star Allies. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Morpho Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.